Ballcap Brigade. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, my name's Austin hey, John Johnson. Yeah, welcome to the Ball Cap Brigade, where we play our best to, to do D&D. Oh, geez. <laughs> We're excited to have you join us, so grab a drink and uh, and let's kick things off. Uh, please excuse our camera situation. It'll be better next week as we as we figure out batteries and lenses and shit, but we didn't want that to disrupt I'm our streaming schedule. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us something sure we don't know. No, to bring you this hot hot dungeons and dragons content 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 anyway good, good old content uh we're so glad that you're here uh let's fucking introduce the bottle cap brigade first up he's got nipples like reed richards it's sam gates as daryl rothsprick wait i can't say, i can't retort i can't <laughs> retort <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, nothing to say. My nipples are so fucking cool, dude. Are you okay? Are they as stretchy as the rest of your body? That's well, they're slightly more sensitive. So for for <laughs> for my less nerdy friends out there, Reed Richards is Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, <laughs> the stretchy guy. Got it. That was the that was a really good joke, Austin. Thanks, I get man. It. Having such a great. Break. I'm not as. I nerdy. felt like if I put Mr. Fantastic in there, I don't know. I feel like there are multiple Mr. Fantastics. That is really good. Thank you. And I was also going to go Here's with uh, Elastigirl from uh, The Incredibles. <laughs> One of those. He's so proud. Anyway, she's got real big mozzarella energy. It's Cat Lazar. <laughs> 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 Give me the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Today. That's big mozzarella energy, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Bringing big loops and poops today. Got guys. Energy. Nope. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. Making that <laughs> wide angle. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure everybody sees it. Okay. There For we go. just three dollars a month, you can support our D and D content on Patreon and learn about this thing I'm about to tell you. Coming up next, our next member tastes pretty good for an IPA. It's Taylor Hawkins. Hey, that's me. IPAs are delicious. They really are. That's why I'm drinking a mimosa <laughs> at 7.30 on a Tuesday. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome to the bottle cap. Happy post tree for it, everybody. We made I it. Just oh, it. We made it. I'm exhausted still. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. There is still glitter all over my house. <laughs> that's what she said. All over my arse. Finally, I've seen this player's butthole more than I've seen my own. It's Joe Fritz's roost. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> it's an abyss. A butthole cider. Why is a braid coming out of it? <laughs> a braid? It is. My butt crack's very hairy. Literally, cheeks, a little bit fuzz, butt crack. It's like a... Like a ponytail? Yeah. Do you think it's more hairy than my butthole? So is that where the phrase <laughs> rat tail comes from? We'll show Amanda and have her ask. He's dumb. We'll go, we'll go ball to ball right next to each other. Oh, I went in. Okay. Let's just see where I place. All right. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon and maybe you can uh, vote on this too. Maybe you can see their butthole. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of our Patreon, uh, we just got done with Tree Fort, and, uh, which is why Miranda... What's so Tree Fort? It's, it's this super dope art festival in uh, Boise, Idaho, mostly centered around a music festival, but... It, now we just it becomes everything for a while. we it just is. got done performing there in fact if you sign up for our patreon at any tier uh once the podcast fort gets us uh, all that stuff uh, we'll post that content so you can see what you missed because it all counted in this uh you know campaign also i will post the game that we played it and hurt. you can tell us wh whether it's too fucking hard and i'm a big turd <laughs> Or if it was totally Can we legit. vote on that as well or no? <laughs> well, we'll let the audience decide and get it all figured out. But it's, it was a pretty neat game. It was. Um, our friends it was fun. here. We got close. Got close. We and did it, some stuff. And it was really fun. We made That's, masturbation that, that jokes thing. in front of children. <laughs> that is... I was proud of us for ha not having more masturbation jokes. I, I we, feel like we all could sense when the children entered the room and then when they left, we were like, ha ha, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was like, we can talk about drugs now. Yeah. Kids are gone. It was definitely like, everybody was like, fun, fun, fun. And like, oh, the random dude showed up in a tuxedo to the dive bar. 
and everybody just notices, and then mm. it changes the way you act the whole time. Yeah, don't curse in front of the tuxedo boy. Exactly. <laughs> Children well, are tuxedo, tuxedo boys. boys. Yeah. We turn into like Pixar humor with like our subtle sex jokes. You know, even a masturbation joke wasn't like was hit you over the face with it. You don't, wanna, you, don't, you don't ever want to hit anybody over the face with a masturbation joke. No. And we're back, baby. <laughs> I try, I try, speaking of hitting somebody over the face, I tried to high five Taylor earlier, and I did this, and he flinched, and I'm really concerned <laughs> about. Three four it was weird. We're trying. <laughs> we're trying to avoid uh, all discussion about Will Smith. Oh, oh, oh nice. God. Anyone else not give a shit? Uh, <laughs> the memes have been great, though. Yes. <laughs> like, I, I think my favorite one was just, it had, uh, it was We Will Rock You, but it was just like, oh, the- yeah, the- yeah, the- yeah, yeah, it was so great. It's fun. It was so it's great. Fun. Anyway. Yeah, it was a great welcome. time. We had We're an gonna- awesome. Thanks for having us, Chief Fort. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks yeah. for having us, Will Smith. <laughs> cool. Uh, thank you. So, yeah, with all that, let's... Uh, oh, wait, wait, we gotta play a game. Let's play a game. On this week's edition of Guess Who Said It? The quote is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, you wanna get one? What? <laughs> <laughs> is that what I was supposed That's to be? Yes. <laughs> 100 real did not know. I was like, kids so, are hit. <laughs> so last week at our... Wonderful treat last week. You Saturday at our wonderful treat for session. Someone in this room said, I think about putting your face permanently on my face. <laughs> Who said it? I remember. Who That's said it, Kat? It's disturbing thing. Who said it, Kat? I think I know. It was Sue Gates, face. everybody. <laughs> that one face is permanently on his face. So okay. I'm going to get a sick tat of Kat's actual face. On a cat tat? A cat tat? Cat tat. And also, that was this week on Guess Who Said It. Thank you. That was great. Cool. Yeah. This is this is our vibe, friendos. <laughs> if uh, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you're joining us for uh, a few more times than that, we uh, already love Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Welcome back. Absolutely appreciate it. Um, but if this uh, if this is your vibe too, whenever you'd like to uh, you like to play D anD D, subscribe to our bullshit. Follow us on the things and, and uh, poke uh, on our thumbs up. Yeah. Without further ado, thumb us. Let's <laughs> score some bottle caps. Uh, welcome to season two, episode ten, from under the rubble. Got it. Did you kill Sam? <laughs> Yeah. When you when you were in grade school, did you ever take the test that at the top said read every question before answering them? Uh, it, it was designed to teach a lesson about following instructions. Granted, some kids uh, would read that and think, yeah, I'm obviously not going to answer a question before I read it. And then they take the test normally and uh, they wouldn't realize they you know, messed it up until the final question at the bottom of the page said to pass this test, write nothing else but your name on the top and turn it in. The Ball Cap Brigade recently had a bit of a group test. Anyway, our adventurers have had one doozy of a day. It began with them sneaking into Marin. They delivered and administered the shroomf to Queen Lariana. Darrow and Adeline discovered that Darrow's home isn't how he left it. They saw Togu on an unknown plane of existence on their way back. Then the party met Melvin and infiltrated the den of an assassin's guild. Meanwhile, Ruka discovered the corpse of Marin's treasurer before getting captured. Rusta slew his mentor. Joe Lee got captured and escaped. They discovered a massive source of, of ether magic. Got teleported to a purgatory playroom and had a literal experience had had literal experience extracted from their bodies by the same entity that turned Adeline inside out. I mean, goddamn! <laughs> now they sit in the middle of Marin's Market Square. Uh, standing atop this mess of of blood and organs, uh, and now we're gonna kick it to Ruz, uh, to Ruka. Bye. Um, so you are uh, you wake up um to the sound of uh, 
<laughs> Joe's butt is insane tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, we are on a, oh, 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 I see what's happening. Cool. So I was gonna say we are on a very wide angle lens. Uh, there is a large. We can see more. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, you guys, you guys have all kind of like come out of uh, this kind of dream state that you were in whenever you guys were in the playscape. Um, uh, you guys are all now back to level ten, but are also fully rested. Uh, similarly to like being hypnotized, they say you're supposed to. It's gonna feel like a, uh, you know, a, you got a full night's sleep. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, everybody is now level ten again, but fully rested. Um, okay. And uh, Ruka, no. you um, you come out of this experience, um, waking up to uh, uh, to to uh, some arguing that's happening. Um, somewhere around you, you're a little disoriented because uh, you're blindfolded. Um, uh, you're in a dark room, and the only reason that you're assuming it's dark is because you can't see any light coming through the blindfold, right? Okay. Um, and uh, you you hear voices behind you arguing. Uh, behind me, as in like in the same room. Um, they are they are too too quiet to be for you to think that they're in the same room. Okay, cool. Um. I'm going to cast Reduce on myself hmm. to go out of everything that's holding me. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... So I think... How small do I get? Um, reduce. Target size is halved in all dimensions. Yeah. So I'm now four feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> that <is> Sweet. Amazing. <laughs> um. And I'm assuming I can weasel my way out of any restraints that I've got. Let me let me do one thing real fast. Sure. Um, odds or evens? Evens. It's evens. Cool. Um, yeah, they uh, they didn't ante- they knew that you were a fighter, but didn't didn't anticipate that you had any kind of magical ability, so they didn't actually gag you, uh, okay. allowing you to have the verbal com- uh, you know nece- necessary stuff to cast. Oh, it is is I don't think I need verbal. It's just concentration. Just twist your nipples. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a little bit of a nipple twist. The direction you choose is either enlarge or reduce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, cool. So, I'm I'm assuming I'm out of the restraints. <laughs> yes. And then I want to look at my surroundings. Cool. Um, so, you get out of the restraints. You take the uh, thing off. Uh, and uh, the room is very, very dark. Um, but it's... Um, it's uh, Some parts of the room are super well decorate, uh, decorated and kind of... Uh, different colors of velvet. Um, Is this the same room that I saw that I peeked into before I, uh, I'm assuming before I was drugged? Uh, no, but uh, you recognize some similar uh, decorations. Okay. Um, or sim- similar styles of decorations. Okay. How many, uh, what, what's the room? Like, are there doors? Or is there a way out? You, uh, you do see one door. Okay. Um, that has some light coming uh, in from underneath it. You, you also notice uh, that um, some of the room is uh, still uh, under construction. So um, you, you have you have kind of completed areas, and then you have more. Uh, in a sense that I can just leave. Uh, uh, roll perception. Uh, Twelve. Um, uh, not that you could just leave. No. But, okay. but, but it's it's still under construction. It's you know it's a little bit more kind of like open. Uh, um, like do any of the walls? Frame uh, can I notice that any of them like are open at all to the outside? Um, uh, no, you don't notice any. Okay. Okay. Um, and then uh, so I'm assuming the voice I'm hearing is coming from the door. Yeah, right. Coming, I want to go. From outside the door. I want to go lean up against the door and see if I can hear what they're arguing about. Cool. Yeah, go ahead. Just roll a perception for them. Seventeen. Cool. Yeah, you do that, and uh, uh, you hear from outside, uh, uh, from outside the door. Um, it's like, well, find her. If she has gone somewhere, it's it's on your neck or back. Or, God damn it! And that's that's all that you hear. Uh, and uh, you hear some some footprints, uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of stride away. Um, it's, it's like a anyway. They're long. They're long. They have a long stride, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then you hear a couple more start to walk away, and uh, 
And this voice says, oh, no, 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 no. Not you, Deandra. You're not going. So, oh, my, my, uh, my lord, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sorry. I, I, I did catch the, the big elephant man, and he's, he's in the other room. So, well, ah, uh, your, this bullshit will not be tolerated, Deandre. Not this time. And uh, you hear, yeah, you, you hear a, a sword being unsheathed um, and a, a loud thud hit the, hit the floor. Okay, I'm not. Rea- I'm, he's staying, listening, seeing what's happening. Cool. Um. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you stay there for a moment. Um, you hear the footsteps kind of uh, go to another part of the room. Um, you hear uh, a drink being poured, and um, a glass being set on the bar, and then the footsteps um, start to get quieter and quieter and okay. quieter. I am going to. Uh, I want to slowly open the door. Actually, I'm going to. Oh, let's just go for it. I'm gonna uh, peek through the door cool. and see if there's any anybody out there. Uh, just roll a, roll a stealth for me. Um, that would be a nine. Cool. Yeah, you will, uh, you you kind of uh, peek it open and uh, you catch uh, the the front door to the bloody seaman closing. As someone's leaving, yep. assumingly. Okay. Um, is, is DeAndre on the ground? Uh, yes. You look. Uh, oh, wait, you look and see a, a a a headless DeAndre on the floor. Interesting. Quite, okay. Quite messy. Um. I would like to go to DeAndre's body. And I want to loot it for anything that would prove that it is DeAndre's body. Okay. Uh, some sort of keys. Actually, no. I want to look. Yeah, I'm looking for keys. Any sort of emblem or tie or something. If he has anything of the sort that is recognizably Andre's, that is what I'm looking for. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll investigation. Sure. Uh, investigation. Uh, that's a ten. Okay. Um, the the most notable things that you see as you kind of dig through his corpse, um, are, are you do find a set of keys. There's no indication on the keys of what they go to, but he's got keys on him because he's okay. a dude that owns a bar, kind of. And um. You, you don't you don't see any other kind of specifically identifying features. Um, uh, he uh, he does have kind of a nicer necklace um, with his fancy bloody seaman uh, outfit that because he's the maitre d. Um, and okay. we'll, don't shine a black cool. light on that. Um, hey, I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna leave the keys on him. Okay. And I'm gonna take his body and put it in the room where I was kept. And position his body in a sense that he was the one being held captive there instead of me. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll a uh, slide of hand. Natural 20. Hey, you everybody drink it up. Wet piece of <laughs> bitch. Butt. Wet piece of butt. You big wet butt. God, your wet asshole is going to just be all squirting into me. Like God. That's a good roll. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> Sorry, Kat. Um, it's okay. A sick dick you got there, though. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I drew a penis. <laughs> because I know what one looks like. You better believe it. Uh, yeah, you do. You do a really good job of that, and you totally don't forget the head. You actually put the head in there too. Um, and is there some uh, some way that you would like to deal with the blood that's on the floor? No. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, sweet. That's uh, sweet. That's what happens. Um, um, and then what you doing? And then I would like to uh, go back to the entrance that I used to get into this section first. Mm. Um, so I want to. Start, I don't want to go out the front door. I want to try and find uh, the entrance that I used to get into the bloody sea room, like rubble was, area kind. Yeah, of. like through. It was through a side room that I 
you just take it down. I don't want to exit out the front door. So, um, or wait, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Roll, roll investigation for me. Uh, I'm going to use lucky. Not better. Yes. <laughs> um, I like it. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. So, um, you're kind of, you're kind of checking through the blazing man and you actually, you don't find any other entrances other than the front door. Um, and I think what you might be thinking about is before when you were at the bloody semen, you hadn't, uh, or you had only gone through the front door. Mm -mm. I entered through the back door. Um, I entered the back door very sneakily. What bar did you go in the back door? I entered the back door of the place. Okay. <laughs> uh, make, make <laughs> clarifying. I didn't, bring my, make clarifying. I didn't bring my iPad. It has all my notes on it. I, I don't, because the thing is, the, the blaze semen doesn't actually have a back door. So so you have you have the front door and it goes up. Um, and then you have bathrooms on your left. You have a little couch on the side. It has a bunch of tables. On the far end is the bar. And then you have two doors that go off. One is the karaoke room, which is where... Miranda was being held. The other one is the sexy time room, which is the one that you were in, but it's still under construction because they're still building it. I think what what you were thinking about was if you were to leave out the bloody seaman and walk that way, um, you would get to a rubble part. Yeah. That uh, that that's still like on the ground level. Yeah. Um, and basically, once you reach this little uh, intersection of these pathways, you could turn left. If you're leaving, and that takes you out into the market square, um, basically. Well, didn't out this didn't way. the uh, or if the, you turn right, you could go deeper into this rubbly area, which is where you found where, where you were tracing the curve, the curve uh, smell. Yeah, and so I I followed that curve smell guy because he he exited from the back rubble door of the bloody seaman. And yeah, I, and I slammed it. And right. snuck into the room, and then from there I entered into the bar. So I want to go back out that way. Okay, cool. It's it's actually it's the same. It's all the same. It's all the same. Thing. Oh, it's, it's basically it's the front entrance. Yeah, yeah. You 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 walk in through the front entrance, and then you can either turn right to go to walk up to the bloody seaman that's kind of being built over all the rubble, or you can turn left and like work your way through the rubble and find the room that you found before. Oh, okay. And. And so, yeah. Bas- uh, okay, so I can so from that room, that rubble room that I was in before, uh-huh. that opens up into the market. Hmm. That one, that uh, or that, that one opens that, up into the outside. Yeah, that one's like deep up in here. Yeah, that's fine. So, Mike, so I don't. Ahead. I do not want to enter, exit out of the front door. Okay. And from what I I remember from last time is there was either a doorway outside that wasn't the front door, or there is a room that leads into the rubble area, so I can get out that way. Um, I mean, if you want, you can maybe find a place to break through because I, but I can assure you that there's, there's no other, there's no other. Yeah. I, I guess the only thing left is to go out the front door since there's nothing else. Right. right. I mean, that's, uh, unless well, it sounds like it's against, uh, Darrow's fire code. <laughs> 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 um, uh, I mean, yeah, you can go out. The, you can go out the front door. Okay. Um, you can also, I mean, if if you want, you can do some kind of check to time it to where you don't get caught. You know, anything like that. I mean, like, you know, basically, you're there's no one in the room with you at this point. Other than I'm not like worried about DeAndre. anybody in the room. I'm worried about the guy that just cut off DeAndre's head, walked out that front door like seconds ago. Uh, well, so I don't want to go out that same entrance. Okay. And so if that's the case, I'm just gonna be hanging well, tight. Yeah. If you, I mean, which that would effectively do it because he seemed he seemed to be on a bit of a mission you don't know what the mission okay. is but he definitely he definitely wasn't just leaving to chill yeah i i guess i'll go out the front door then okay um so we'll say that you uh that, that you you wait a moment so as to not catch this guy mm-hmm. right um and then you yeah you leave out the you leave out the front door and now we're going to switch perspectives real fast um so we have the rest of the party um, in the center of the Marin uh, market, um, 
you guys have just come out of this kind of like dream state that was uh, the playscape, which um, whatever entity that you guys encountered while you're in uh, the market that had the yellow and the red eyes um, kind of put you in, mm-hmm. um, you all look around and you don't, you don't see this peasant anymore. Um, most of the market has cleared out, um, kind of screaming and running away. And right at your feet is the mass of blood and guts that is, but we're not sure. Blood and guts. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you guys, did you guys just have a really weird dream? I think I'm still sweating from the dream because I acted real crazy and not like myself at all. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Melvin. Ah. Do you need like a? Oh, I check my pants to see if I have dried milk on my pants. Oh, you do not. Okay. You know, you're good. We're good. Yeah. What about you? Are you good? I, I mean, that was real strange, but I don't think I'm doing too well due to the fact of what's right in front of me. Yeah, I mean, you know, oh, get used to I, the bottle cap brigade, noobs. I'm gonna, oh, yeah, that's really haunting. That's probably the most gross, most gross thing I've ever seen. Ah, <laughs> is this a person? It's probably a few people. It was. Um, Can I just, like, look at it? Yeah, I'm going to try and... <laughs> yeah. I just want to see how um, it is. So uh, one of the things about the playscape is that uh, the stuff that you guys uh, took, you can take. So I guess I guess the real thing is, do you want milk in your pocket? And do you want, I believe you made 400 gold while you're in there? Yeah. So yeah, if you guys... I don't want milk. You don't want milk no. in your pocket. Cool. For those you want 400 gold. It's not come, anyone. It's... <laughs> it's... Uh, I... <laughs> it's mother's I, milk. <laughs> I uh, got a glass of milk at the bar because that's Melvin's favorite drink and uh, it's magic milk so then I put it in my hands and it was like a floating bubble of milk and then I put it in my pocket and then we gave a milk bubble full of drugs to Darrow yeah so am I, I still high? drugs um, Darrow's no. developing an addiction no, I don't think okay. so milk. <clears throat> yeah, and drugs my bones are so brittle and weak I mean that too um yeah there's nothing i can really do to this blob are there other like people around um no everyone's pretty much cleared out out of uh, uh, basically whenever they saw this blob walking through sure. uh, the market they're like oh fuck and, I, and they're all uh, they all left i just want to yell into like some of the adjacent like hovels and like you know little shit shacks that probably have people in it and i just want to say hey hey are any is anyone a cop are you cops <laughs> Open open your doors if you're a cop. Turn on your light. Come come out here. Is it gurgling at all? Uh, it, it it did gurgle a little bit. But it's um, pretty much dead now. And uh, in fact, uh, go ahead and uh, roll perception. Oh. Yikes! Take a not one. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's back, baby. <laughs> Rusda would like to take Frumple's rapier and try and like move stuff around to see if I can find anything to identify the person, like belongings. Cool. Have we noticed that Ad- uh, Adeline's not around? Uh, you uh, you have noticed that Adeline's not around. Um, I will say... We don't uh, know. That you also... Uh, you're assuming that this thing has been dead for like three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, go ahead and roll investigation. Ten. Cool. So, um, yeah, you're, you're kind of moving some stuff around, uh, and all, a lot of the belongings are, uh, have, have been, um, basically destroyed through the process of like the body being turned inside out. Yeah. You, the only thing that you find is a, uh, drawing, uh, made with crayon, uh, that is a, a little boy, uh, holding the hands of his two parents. Oh, Jesus. We got there, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to kind of like fish it out with the end of the rapier and then get a present and open it up. Um, not necessarily a a present, but I'm going to show it to Darrow. Clean it up. Do I recognize the kid? Oh, you sure do. We also recognize the artwork. What is it? You drew it. Oh, okay. This is the drawing that Adeline yeah. stole from your attic room. Uh, or one of them. Am I able to make that connection? 
Um, I think, uh, I mean, pl- uh, RP it how you will. Okay. But I think on some level, yes, absolutely. Man, that's weird. That's, uh, you know, I maybe adult, adults just kind of dropped it in there. You Where think? is Adeline? This is the first time you guys have heard Adel's rec- uh Your lover? Well, I mean, you know, oh, this is we disgusting. were pretty hot. Oh, you just turn it on, off and on. It might do that every once in a while. Just just give it a second. It'll be fine. We can describe what's happening. Yeah, just pretend like Joe and I are blurry and out of focus. Wait, just don't touch it. I promise it'll come back. There it Ooh. is. Uh, just pretend, any, anytime that happens, just pretend like Joe and I are blurry and out of focus. And, and standing with our hands on our hips. Pretend like we're a p- They're a both podcast. mad because their child You guys look Legos. smaller than sure. Timber and Kat, and that's fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. Um, uh, okay, no, but so I'm just like, yeah, so, uh, yeah, you know, you know, we, uh, we got to like, I don't know what, like sixth base. What sixth base? I don't know. Anal. <laughs> He's good. He I, t- I don't know I, what that is, but. What? I've been drunk a lot, but, you know, not exactly a ladies man, you know? <laughs> 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 Ladies, man. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I just, I spend all my time like contributing to the police force locally. And so I don't know why you would laugh at that because you're an aristocrat. Is that not correct? I'm, uh, I'm training to be a knight. So I guess I'm kind of a squire, but yeah. I'm not here living an adventurer's life. But you, so you, you, you know, but you have money though, right? I mean, they, uh, they sent me out in the world with a set, a set amount of money, but I'm not. Rich by any means. It's, it's technically my sister's money. She's, okay, so you have money and you hate poor people. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, no. Gosh, no. <laughs> no, you get it. Like, no, what? You're not like smashed, but apparently we do anal, right? What? Now we're back to the bases? <laughs> That's what sixth base is where I come from. Okay, all right. Usually involves your mouth, too, but cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Can the three of you roll perception? <laughs> Just to see if I actually know what six space is. 22. Uh, I can't read. 10. <laughs> D&D is hard when you can't read. Nine. <laughs> I got a nine. Um, so, uh, Rusta, you barely notice out of the corner of your eye some movement um, that is... Uh, like it, it, You have your back to um, the statue of Esme mm-hmm. being built. Uh, you notice a little bit to your left. And when you glance, it's gone. It's, uh... You okay? Do you have any drugs? I just... No, I don't. Okay. Okay. I just saw something. Um, I think I need to go check it out. All right, where's the um, the the Russian fella? Ru- Ruka? Oh, oh he, Russia here. Do we know that giant animal elephant man that was in our dream? He- he stayed back with the queen. Yeah, we should probably find him, right? That's um, totally yes. We probably yeah. should. As you guys are talking and about it, probably it. find Adels because she's probably fine. Jolie's with us, right? Who's yes, Adel? yeah. So, so, uh, so for for all the viewers at home, Jolie is totally with these folks, but uh, she will not be RPing the session, but might be participating in Sam. other things. Jolie's on autopilot. Okay, yeah. It's R- like RPP. RPPPP. Ghost runner. Boots. Um. And uh, so we'll say that uh, Taylor, uh, Ruka, you, um, uh, I mean, you're treading super lightly, right? Because you're not wanting to alert the whoever just left that, you know, anyway. Um, and you get to the front of the, um, but you hear all of the screaming and the gasps that's happening from the market square. And so you're, uh, you're basically trying to find a position to act, to see what's going on out there. I'm allergic to that beer. Really? I'll go get another one. It's cool. What is this? Do you want this? Yes. Or you can drink it. I, don't I can want get it. another one. Sorry. Yeah, I'm allergic to that beer. Thank you, though. Weird. No, you're gonna get another one. I don't like from this. continue. Uh, from from behind, uh, from behind, kind of the door on the wall, you're able to actually see the rest of the brigade oh. out in the center of the marketplace. How far are they from me? Um, I would say reasonably, like uh, maybe a hundred feet. Oh, okay. So they wouldn't. I'm going to try and like get an attention without speaking. See if any of them. 
see me. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll performance, and then everybody else roll perception. Seventeen. Fucking seven. Twenty-five. Seven. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, um, hey. I'm also, I'm also a little too. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Where are you guys? I've I've only met you in our hostage stream. Duh. <laughs> um, so much yeah, tinier so, in your life. <laughs> so so you notice that movement to your left, Rusta, um, mm-hmm. and uh, nobody notices Taylor. Uh, notices Ruka from. Okay. Um, he's yeah, I mean, like, he's got to be around here somewhere, from right? The, from the buddy <laughs> semen. He was, he uh, was real? Yeah. I'm going to, before I leave, I want to smell and see if I can sense anything from the, from uh, either of the two people or creatures who was there before. Yeah. Go uh, ahead and roll, roll perception with the advantage. Yikes. Ugh. 13. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely, um, you can definitely smell the curve. Um, curve, uh, curve cologne. The, the, the curve cologne trail is okay. quite clear. Um, it okay. is, uh, you don't see, you don't smell an intensity of it. So um, in uh, any, uh, anywhere close to you, but can I recognize, do I recognize the voice? Cause I've heard what's his name from before. Um, not that session. Go ahead and uh, roll. Uh, Uh, I'll say, yeah, you recognize uh, you recognize the the voice. What is his name? Are you talking about DeAndre? No, No, the the Punisher guy. Oh yeah, Strauss. Yep. Is it like Strauss? Strauss. Okay. Um, Strauss. So I recognize Strauss as the voice. For Demacia. The one That's that, the inspiration for anyways. The one that told mm-hmm. the guy to find her and then was also talking to DeAndre. I recognize yeah. that as Strauss. So I can assume Strauss is the one that murdered DeAndre. I mean, I think that would be a safe conclusion. Okay. Got it. Dope. Um, okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to sneakily head to the brigade from where I'm at. Cool. I, I just say, you seriously... You just only knew him from a dream. You didn't like. I never, never met the him. elephant man. Uh, okay. Can you can you please describe how you're doing this? I think. Well, he's normal. He's like four oh, feet tall, oh, oh, and so oh, I think oh, it's just oh, like a normal walk. Like he's like it's like the awkward. It's like imagine Mr. Bean trying to be sneaky, yeah. like oh. walking through a crowded. Base. Well, here's the thing. It's not crowded in the least. Yeah. No. It is complete. So you're walking just out in the open, just. Just like very nonchalantly. Yeah. Okay. You all fucking see this. <laughs> sure. So I know what like first and second base are. I just don't know that it go- goes up that well, high. Well, sixth base, we should ask the elephant when he gets here. Because I promise he's not like, you know, I'm not, I, I know I joke a lot, but I'm not joking this time. You know what I mean? No. Okay. I know I, I, know I, I'm not sure like I don't know a lot, but I do know about, I, I do, I do know about seven. Okay. Have you ever done it? Yeah. Like how many times? At least, uh, definitely at least once. I know that for sure. Okay, cool. I guess <laughs> you have a little bit more experience than me, but I would assume. Hey, I, I'm from a pretty cool place. Does that have anything to do with it? I don't know. Okay. No, so I just don't a... know how to talk to 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 women. I don't know either. That's why I gave you the finger gun to let you know that. We're in the same boat. Yeah, but you and Megaline are like together, right? Well, yeah, but just like kind of. She actually, I think, hates me. But I don't know. I just, I give enough money. Don't you hate everyone, though? No. Oh. No, I just. Are we friends? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't hate you. Okay. Do you hate me? No. Oh. <laughs> are you lying? No. Okay, sir. Don't call me, sir, though. All right. But you can call me sir if you want. Pop, I sir. don't think I hate you. I just hope that you will donate to my campaign fund when I decide to run for mayor. I don't have money right now. Yeah, but when you do, you know, you can just write home. I guess I. I mean, what? After what we your, get out of this, what are your thing? pledges? What are your backings? What kind of uh, uh, policies do you do you like to? Rich get richer. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the poor stay the same. I don't think because we it'll trickle down. Our happiness what, will trickle down that. onto the peasants. Oh, oh! I don't think we should call them peasants. That's not you nice. Want their names. <laughs> um, friends. Ah! Wow. It's not. Uh, 
Wait. Wait. You're a real dream guy. Yeah, I was. You do not know how to play pool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, not even a little bit. That is not how you play pool. I thought I'm really a pretty good pool player. They said I was doing the game. Right no, you are great at breaking sticks. Yeah, that's how you play pool. Hi, friends. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, man? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, Why are you so small? Yeah, are you oh, sorry. in real life? <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that feels much better. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Still a Dorito. And he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna tap my head and be like, can don't you, talk to roll, yourself. Uh, like, roll a strength sorry. check for me? Okay, very strong. I'm already like 6'6", six, six, I think, too. So I'm, I'm already pretty tall. Uh, 14. Yeah, you feel your glutes kind of flex a little bit whenever you do that. <laughs> nice. Oh, the glutes. So you remember that dream where you guys were just hitting a pool stick against a pool table for... From yeah. what, I'm, pool. From what yeah. I'm getting, it wasn't much of a dream. Yeah, yeah um, I mean... So... But he didn't have uh, milk in his pants. I so, so I friends... I still um, have this gold. Wait, did you have milk in your pants? I did put milk in my pants, but I chose to not take that out of the dream with me. Because when I Oh, it was like a conscious pants, you made like a conscious decision. Yeah. So I, okay. A lot of people think that it's just that it's something else. Milk it was like a, it wasn't a, it was a lucid dream for yeah. you? I th oh no. <laughs> okay, 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 there? friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> so so listen, um, there is some weird shit going on, and I think you all need to follow me to the palace right now. We need to go as quickly as possible. Um, let's. What do we do about this? Oh, I do not like that. For my, uh, it looks like dip. We can just leave it. <laughs> for my, that's disgusting. <laughs> for my calculations, it's been dead for about three years. So then let's what? leave it. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it. I'll put a. I'll put a note. Let me, I'll just write a note for the town guard. I'll what, say, no, this town is in rubble. What no, is anyone fine. going to notice about this? I, I, we've market? been working on hiring a few like <laughs> folks to cl clean up a little bit here and there. Just, um, I'll just yeah. say, and I want to, I want to like get out like a piece of paper and a, a fucking ink pen, and I, I want to just write uh, from Darrow. We didn't do this. Clean, clean it up. Signed, Darrow. And I just want to like hit it, nail it against like a post near the. Quick question, sir. The yeah. closest post is Esmeralda statue. Yeah, just anywhere. <laughs> I, yeah, sure. I'll fucking just kind of stick it on Esmeralda statue. Classy. That's what she would have wanted. Um, <laughs> right, uh, right, so right Finn. <laughs> what? Um, maybe if you didn't post that it was. Friends. Not you. They wouldn't immediately think that it was you. It is well, important no, they would. we go they now. Would this is, I know this is this is not what needs to happen. I need you to follow me right now. I have a plan. Okay. Okay. I guess. Uh, can I can I get on your back though? Not a shot. <laughs> okay. Only if I can get onto yours first. Okay. Let me. I mean, you can. We'll probably just die, but you can. <laughs> Your choice, Frank. Uh, okay, all right. I still don't <laughs> the castle. I just book it. Cool. Um, so, Melvin, the moment you start running, uh -huh. um, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Like, as we're starting to leave... Actually, do I have that? 17. Saving throw? Mm -hmm. Oh. 18. Okay. Get out. One more. <laughs> Beep, boop. And there's no update on Ong's progress, right? Um, Just as an aside. I'm going to say no for now. Okay. But let me do the exact calculations. Because he's been flying basically for... It depends on how long you want to make the dream. Well, so, so I will say the dream, the dream was... Uh, in terms of like real lifetime, no time whatsoever. Yeah, that's like eight um, hours time. or whatever. But I mean, it it felt much longer than it actually. It, I mean, you guys were in and out in a moment. Mm. Um, you, uh, that's how I roll, baby. You don't have to figure it out right now. Okay, I, 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 I would I would say that because basically, in terms of like the entirety of season two has so far taken place over approximately five days. Yeah, um, and. I, I, I can't remember at this point when you sent Ong off. 
Um, it was okay. like right the fuck away. It was immediately. It was okay. like very soon after. Okay, so uh, good to know. You do not have an update at this moment. All right. Um, what were you going to do, Rusta? Uh, uh, I thought I had something, but I don't. Okay, cool. So um, your dexterity saving throw. You see. Um, uh, I forgot. Get it. Um, yeah. So as uh, you start to run and you see this arrow just come right in front of you. It's a bolt. It's a crossbow bolt. Uh, shoot right in front of you um and uh, you all notice this and you look up um and uh you see so we're in the square right there here yeah um you all uh start to run forward here and so atop this building is oh yeah thank you uh you see uh, a this bitch assassin action um uh, so you see this unliving um, assassin on, on top of that building. And then um, your eyes kind of start to glance all around a lot of the, uh, the rooftops in the area, some of the alleyways. And you guys see that you are surrounded by assassins from the unliving. And we're going to go on uh-huh, break. Uh-huh. I'm not wearing my cape. My cape. I'm wearing my cape. We're all wearing capes here, and we hope you are too at home. And that's uh, oh, oh, cool. Cool. Go. so many capes. It's all about man. comfort nowadays. But God damn it! Thanks for being here. We're going to take a brief break and uh, be right back. We love you so much and appreciate you tuning Mike, in to our weird. Like a Varda live loose. Hey, hey. We're back from pee pee time. What's talk, up, everybody? Talk about boobs, you guys. Boobs. Live boobs. Live boobs. It's boobs live live. in your face, Mail. No, I mean, the first time I saw my. my... <laughs> you couldn't even fucking get that one. Going. I know, I couldn't you even fucking, you pulled the you pulled the fucking pulled the rip cord, but he was it like, just it's dead, and then I walked away. We're in the, 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 the fucking two stroke fail right there, dog. Are we talking <laughs> about your sex life? Uh, <laughs> 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 That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Bottle Cap Brigade. If you want to figure out if you if you're interested yep. in ways of supporting our our stroke defense, uh, go to thebottlecapbrigade.com or hop over to our Instagram at thebottlecapbrigade and click on our linky tree. Um, we got we got affiliate links and uh, friendship, but also you can always just subscribe to our YouTube or follow us or subscribe to our Twitch. We have a Discord. Yeah, but I need to invite everyone to. I'm going to do that this week. Uh, we are almost at 2,000 subscribers on the YouTube. No way! Yeah. Holy shit. It's a lot. Hey, everybody. It is. We, we Suck a dick. get like five or six a day. I'm going to reach out to one of my friends who just got his play button, and I'm going to ask him to give us a little boosty. Boosty bucks. Yeah. This one's been rolling great. Okay. And that's how we do it up in here. So, I'm going. Uh, oh. Yeah. Got it. This so, is how we do it. Our hands are in the ear. Uh, the Ball Cap Brigade has been reunited over the corpse of. I'm pretty sure they know it's out of line. I have no, I have no they idea. They still don't technically. I don't think they I know. Don't, I was the gone. Darrow is the only one that knows that it's out of line, and I feel like he's not connected enough to his feelings to reveal that to the rest of the At party. Best Ruka, denial. Ruka yeah. thinks it's chipped in. Yeah. You said it was. I wasn't so there. <laughs> like, ugh. So, gross. Uh, <laughs> There's such a big liver. In the Marin Market. Uh, Ruka witnessed with his giant elephant ears that were half the size that they usually were. Rude. Uh, They're just called ears. The, uh, <laughs> <Deep friendly. laughs> um, the murder of DeAndre by the poorly RP'd Strauss um, <laughs> that will surely get improved as time goes on, depending on drinky times. Um <laughs> And uh, yeah, now they're all reunited in the market square. And uh, just as um, under Ruka's direction, they were about to rush off towards the castle. Um, the crossbow bolt blocked their way. They look around and are now surrounded by 20, in my notes, 21 uh, unliving assassins. God damn it. You guys, I'm just, ga- I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. Is that, I'm with you, I'm let's like- run. We well, asked if there were cops anymore. Are you guys cops? Not cops. Why are you guys cops? Yes, tell cops. us if you're cops. <laughs> oh, do I still have Frumple's corpse? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what yeah, I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we never dropped it off. You yeah. never, yeah. Oh, there we never dropped living. it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Can I put my cloak on? 
Yeah. Oh, I How, put my cloak on. It's me. Is the, the is the palace here? Palace is yes. Okay, cool. That's great. Cool. Um, so yeah, you're looking around, and uh, uh, the crossbow bolt um, hits right at your feet, um, Melvin. And uh, you guys look up. You see this uh, this cloaked uh, unliving assassin, and uh, the assassin looks at you and and just uh, yells, "You down." Do you have our lieutenant over your shoulder? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bolt between your mouths right now. Because I'll use him as a meat shield. Serious? I actually. Oh, oh! I'm gonna turn around, everybody, and I'll be like, oh, "Trust, trust me." I actually caught them running away with this guy over his shoulder, I, and I was trying to get go get help because I ran away. I ran from everybody. I, <laughs> I, I, I like your idea, but I think I'm going to go get help. Um, I need so, to get to the palace now. So let's do this. Uh, roll, roll persuasion, uh, Rusa, and roll performance, Melvin. That means one. <laughs> I just snotted everyone. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Okay, so. <laughs> Would I get advantage because I have the cloak? No. Damn it. <laughs> you only get to roll in the first place because you have the cloak. <laughs> so he looks, he looks at you and says, we know he's dead, you dumbass. And we're not going to listen to anything else you have to say. Also, we made fun of you when you were not looking. I joined the club. Sure. I don't know. Maybe they need help. So maybe we need to stick around. I was going to get help. Okay, do you want to... Well, I can, like, super go get help. I can also go super go get help. Okay, but, like, I have, like, money and shit. I don't need money. I have truth. Okay. Go get help. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to go get help. I want to cast invisibility. Okay. And then I'm running to the palace. Wait, um, so you start to... Yeah, you do the... You do the, um, hand signs and things, whatever components to start to do invisibility. Um, and you cast that, and I need you all to roll initiative. Oh, dang. What if I yell, just because you made fun of me behind my back doesn't mean we're not comrades. Ooh. <laughs> Including me. Comrades. Yes. I have chocolate on my phone or poop. Wow. Poop. There's only one way to find out. I know. I'm cleaning it off. It's poop. It's Definitely the poop. <laughs> Is that dip? Let's do this. Um, po- poop dip? Oh, poop dip. Would you do the camera thing? Yeah. Would you do the camera thing? Imagine Sam and I blurry with hands on our hips. Boop. Um, all right, so we got Ruka, Pan, Rusta, we have a Daryl, Melvin, and a Jolie. And Jolie. What do we add to our initiative rolls? Um, Jax. Initiative. Yeah, whatever your initiative is. It should say. <laughs> it should be uh, Dax. Uh, Typically, it's your dex bonus. Unless you have, like... Your initiative is plus three. Unless you have an alert. Yeah. The alert. It oh, it also says... I, it, there's an initiative button up here. I just could... I wasn't looking up there, so it's it's their fault for not putting it somewhere I would look. Sometimes yeah. their UX UI is really good. Sometimes it's not. And I think it depends yeah. on the device. I'm getting used to it. I really like it on iPad. I hate it on my phone. Yeah. Um, the best one, obviously, is the computer. They just did an update on the phone to where now it, like, at least... <laughs> Sends you to the page to like change levels and shit, whereas before it wouldn't do that. But. Mm-hmm. Um, Still funk. I got love you, D D Beyond sponsors. Yeah, I do love D D Beyond, and I just bought the unlimited thing, and I've been having so much fun. It's great, honestly, just making characters, and making stuff. useless characters. Yeah, the app is fun. so great. It's really cool. I also just like uh, rolling on here. Uh, Ruka, what'd you get? Ruka got a five. Oh. You and Jolie are going to go right next to each other. It's not great. Uh, I will have you go before Jolie. Duh. Uh, Rusto. 10. Get it, girl. Uh, Darrow. I got a 19. Get it, girl. Thanks. Melvin. 22. Get it, girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a boy. What is it? Shut up, you're Dorito. Oh, no. You zesty ranch oh, no. motherfucker. <laughs> See, Melvin would have a problem. What an interesting BO smell. <laughs> He's got the red hair. He's like Melvin. Cool. All right. So, um, so 
Melvin, you uh, you see everybody uh, the moment they see Ruka uh, attempt to cast a spell and leave the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see uh, these assassins like get into position to start to attack. Um, what would you like to do? Okay, you caught me. <laughs> I'm not an, an unliving member, and I throw I want to throw the cave down because I wouldn't be friends with a bunch of jerks. And then I'm going to. <laughs> Um, channel divinity, I guess. Wait, no. I will say, so uh, a couple things. To, to yeah, how far away are they? Yeah. Um, everybody. And they, um, they all. Th- there, there is one, there is one, uh, this, this. Oh, wait, guy hold on. Up here is, um, probably closest to you guys, about mm-hmm. 60 feet away. Um, uh, behind you. And then everybody else is, uh, anywhere from a hundred to 130 feet away. You've cast the Oh, jeez. Just tilt it down. Uh. Oh. I also realized hey. something here. What's up? <laughs> Look at that. Wait, listen up. Um, do you have a thing? No, 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 I'm behind. Bruka. <laughs> I realized something. It's probably too late. We'll let it go. Uh, uh, I mean, how, how many we're, we're actually we're not we're not far into it. If it's from the second I cast invisibility. Okay, what is it? I can make someone else go invisible too. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it, this is all kind of happening simultaneously because you know the. the when when uh, they wouldn't want you to leave, so I think that you can. Who who who, who would you uh, cast that on? Rusta. Okay. If you would like it. I am down for it. I think I'm doing it. I think no matter what, it would benefit him, whether he you choose sure. for combat or. I would just be like, I, I we need to get to the palace as soon as possible. Trust me, and then I'm gonna cast him. Try to cast him as well. Cool. But when he says trust me, he's gonna look directly at Rusta. So, um, sweet. And how many of them are there? There are a total of twenty-one. Okay. Okay. That's a lot. Um, in fact, uh, <laughs> go nice. ahead and have everybody. Uh, I want you all to roll. Uh, roll insight or history. Fuck. Um, sixteen. Fuck that one. Oh wait, no, no, no. I've got a lot of now ones tonight. This is a, this is a wild what? night. I need new dice. Some of these are working. Uh, insight oh, or history? history? Oh no, no. In, insight or history, whichever one you'd like. I had a. I get twenty three for insight. Okay. Uh, Melon. Um, what? It's eighteen plus eight. I got a lot. Twenty six. Twenty six. Um. So yeah. So you guys, you guys, as you're looking around at these assassins, um, you're recognizing that many of these are kind of like the grunts of the unliving. The one that you were talking to is probably a, a captain of some kind, mm-hmm. um, which might be uh, like a, a, at an equal, uh, you know, rank as the assassins that you've encountered before. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're just kind of you're looking at their their uh, their uh, robes and cloaks and and their general attire and making these assumptions based on that information. Um, there, twenty one is a lot. So, yeah. And you're first, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I say if if you just don't die, I'll get us out of here and we can go and follow those. Dumb invisible assholes. Can I uh, hurt them though, so that they know I'm strong? Because they all thought I was. Yeah, fuck a couple of them up. Okay, cool. And then I want to turn around and I want to cast guiding bolt. Cool. I still love that spell. Uh, Which which one? So it's 120 feet. Nope. Um, We'll say that you can pretty much hit anyone that you want. Okay, I want to hit the one that was like we made fun of you behind your back. Love it. Um, Hit him in the. Hit him in the. I want to hit him in the ball. (laughs) Um, cool go ahead and roll what you gotta roll 17 that will hit this bitch good oh that's so weird i accidentally rolled on dnd beyond and i got the thing drink nice stuff kid (laughs) that's fun getting your melvin it on (laughs) um okay uh, so it's 4d6, which I'll just roll on this because it's easy. 15. Cool. Yeah. Of um, radiant damage. 
if that affects them. Uh, they're in living. You you did you did the thing and uh, you shoot this bullet. Can you please describe how Melvin likes to do his magic? Yeah, I think it's uh his, his palette. Pal- paladin it's pal- really trick. fucking cool uh <laughs> he's got a cool cloak and he like turns around and he like kind of does a cool like spider-man squat at it and then like uh just like like a the ray a ray of sunshine light comes out and just uh just uh, like it's just a beam that nobody can see it until it's gone and then his like eyebrows are gone I just say, God Wait, damn Melvin's it. eyebrows were No, gone? the guy who I hit. Like, I, I want to hit him in his face. Oh, I thought he was the balls. Yeah. Oh, I want to hit him balls. on the balls. And then the there's no... Balls. But now it looks like he's Rick wearing Ch- chaps because Ball there's change? no pants. Face balls. Face balls. Okay. My... De- my... Uh, de- my tr- uh, what was it? Guiding bolt takes off all clothing. So he's got no... He's It's balls out. <laughs> cool. So you do this. Um, and, you know, so Mel, you guys see Melvin do this sick ass fucking Spider Man uh, thing, and a spotlight of radiant magic uh, shoots out of Melvin's hand. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. like a cool. Um, and it's like spotlighting right on this assassin's dick. And uh, it burns. It burns his dick for. Uh, you said 20, 15, 15 damage? 15 damage. 15 damage. Um, oh, after dick the, damage. It could burn the pubes. Yeah, it oh. smells. <laughs> <laughs> after the after it's gone, uh, this guy is basically wearing a, p- a, a pair of assassin's chaps, and his eyebrows are gone. Yeah, <laughs> and I just look at oh. and I just say, "Ass chap." So yeah. wait, you're telling me you fuck though? That's where you. Oh yeah, I, I I I can get ladies. All right, all right. I'm slightly more inclined to believe you at this juncture. Okay. Okay. I just burned that guy's yeah. dick off. Yeah, I saw that. Sure. Okay, cool. Does anybody else want to fuck him up? Because I'm I'm down to continue fucking no, him up. We're gonna get out of here, okay? Oh, oh, okay. That was cool though. You can probably do that again soon. Yeah, I might. Okay. All Thanks, right. friends. All right. These are my real friends. They don't make fun of me at all. I do I do though. So it's you guys. We're invisible. Uh that I'm just pointing at Daryl. <laughs> Joe and, 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 like, and Adeline's corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Before she, was that, before she was a, a skin mark dip sort of thing, she was a really nice person to me. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to use a uh, quicken spell and I want to cast um, fucking Draconic Spirit. Yep. And I want to uh, snag myself. Is it a gem? I think a gemmy boy. Let okay. me double check my gemmy boyedness. Gem dragon. Um, uh, is this the same named? Gem Dragon? Yeah, it's always Phoenix. It's like Roach. Um, uh, don't talk about Roach. Okay. Um, Roach as in the Witcher's Horse? Or? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a, a, a Chromatic Dragon because it's resist. It's resistant to poison and such. Mm. So, yeah. Good call. Um, Very good call. Yeah, so a Chromatic Dragon. Uh, and to do it, I just say... Uh, my friend isn't dead, and I'm going to do a rhyme. Fuck you all one more time. <laughs> uh, make a, a sparkly little dragon appear. Um, and dragon what kind of dragon? Dragon. It's tails. a chromatic dragon. Dope. I want to look at the. So it's uh, like very a prismy glass, like this type. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's iridescent. I think is is fair. Um, and it's it's quite large. Um, and then I want to hop on it. Like, I just want to use my movement speed to get on it. Um, and uh, I, just, I just say, Melvin, it'll pick you up in your mouth, in its mouth. Don't freak out, okay? What? Ah, ah! Um, so, what's up? I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're picking the, the, the green one. Because a, chrom- a chromatic dragon isn't all the dragons, right? I thought it's just, it's just a colory one. Yeah, it's, it's like a colorful one. I was. I just thought it would be iridescent. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, whenever I I was pulling up stats so I could have them, and it's it. It basically said, chromatic dragon, red dragons, black black dragons, brown dragons, purple dragons, gray dragons, yellow dragons. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know. It's a different spell because it's a draconic spirit. Yeah. So it's it's totally different. Okay, you have you have the stats, yeah. I do. Cool. All right, that was fine. Um. Okay, and then it's from uh, an ex- uh, new or it's from the Strixhaven. Right? Yeah, I think. It's oh, dope. Haven. Okay. Um, so you do the thing. Cool. Uh, so that was two sorcery points, um, and then 
I want to cast Crown of Madness on one of the one of the guys that's close to another guy. Okay. Nice. Um, and so it makes a uh, wisdom saving throw. I might be wrong. Yeah, you're right. Wisdom saving throw. Wizzies. All right. 120 foot range. It's That's an out one. Let's go. Cheers. Drink it up, folks. We're all rolling like fuck. He said yeah. explodes. I'm rolling pretty great. What a twist. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. That never happens. Cool. Okay, so it's charmed by me. Uh, and so a crown of jagged thorns appears on its head. Um, and whenever it's its turn, uh, it makes a melee attack against a creature other than itself that I mentally choose. I'm going to, going to choose one of its friends. Whenever it's its turn. But it makes a melee attack? Yeah. Okay. Can it, uh, what, what, what's its move situation? Like, can, can it move and make the melee attack? Or does yeah. it just like still there? Mm-hmm. Like, yep. Oh. yep. It, okay, it, go. it uses its action. Um, yeah. And cool. Yep. All right. And then it can do a, a wisdom saving throw every turn. Oh, I try to break free of my turn. And, uh, and then uh, it's going to be uh, Phoenix's turn. And I want Phoenix to swoop Melvin up. In its uh, grip, kind of like a puppy. Talons. Is this the same Venus? Yeah, it's just different colored. The okay, cool. Different We're friends. Phoenix. I think I'll trust him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I'd like got to different colored Venus. Sprint with Venus and, and Melvin off towards the hall, the the main entrance. Main entrance okay. area. Uh, let's say Jolie hops on too. Oh yeah, oh, Jolie yeah. exists. Yeah, yeah Jolie. Cool. With jo- Jolie. <laughs> We just leave her hands on there. Cool. So it's um, up to you. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Sweet. So, so you guys do that, and uh, she what is um, let's, uh, what's Venus's uh, movement speed? What's the name of that. Uh, yes. One second, Grace. I'll I'll tell you all about it. We love you, Grace. Thank you we so much you for coming. We, we the best shots, ever. Let's get shots with all the air. It's uh, so he's my favorite. You know, yes, it's going to kind of pick up and fly. I forgot this was a, same, a thing. So it's going to pick up and fly. It's fly uh, distance is 60 feet. And so it's going to oh. sprint so it can go 100. Okay, cool. So uh, so that happens. And you guys start, uh, and you're booking it towards the castle? Yeah. Dope sauce. Okay. So uh, everybody's like, uh, and it's taking off without uh, Rusta and Ruka. So you guys yep. are like, mm-hmm. the real crew. And you're going. Um, cool. So it is uh, some assassins' turns, and um, actually, all three like groups of assassins will be taking um, you know initiative one after the other. So fucking bring it on. Um, I would say since you guys moved 120 feet, uh, look at being real fast. Um, Okay, Are they, and they're all on the rooftops, correct? Uh, they're they're all on Wait, the rooftops and uh, and like in alleyways and doorways. So okay, basically, so they're, they're coming some... out of the woodwork, the mm-hmm. rubble okay. of this. Cool. Uh, so, um, that. uh, <laughs> Sorry. I so um, so here's what we'll do. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to say that if they're coming out of an alleyway, they're going to have uh, too much difficulty taking a shot at you guys whenever they're running, but everybody that's on a rooftop um, will be able to shoot at you, which I'll basically just like cut this in half. Um, so I'm going to do there's another 20. Are they shooting at me or at my dragon? They're, well, uh, I mean, everybody's kind of in the same boat. Um, boats and hose. Boats and hose. I feel like I feel like it'd be weird in this situ in this situation. What's the dra- What's the dragon's AC? Uh, it is. Um, so I, okay, you're, wait, you're running so away. You're running away. 19. We they see they see you cast the spell. On, it would make more sense for me to just do it from like their perspective. Like, oh shit, everybody's hopping on a dragon. What's happening? Um, they see you. You bitches go invisible. Um, and I think uh, let's just do this. Um, fucking one, two, three, four. Two, two, okay. Four. Well, and they're, they're, okay. 
right? Yeah, these two are invisible. So one will be firing at you, one's going to be firing at Jolie, and one's going to be firing at Melvin. Okay. What a tasty spread. Penis is safe. That was a dumb way to do it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. One firing at Darrow. Okay. Uh, That will be a 25 to hit. Does my cloak work? It does. Um, That will be a 17 to hit. Okay. Or 18. I'm just going to take the hit. Okay. <laughs> Very close. It's being mm-hmm. able to use shield. I know. Depends on, you know, depends on how you define close. Oh, 17. Right? Oh, it was 17 to hit. I'm, sorry. I'm still just going to take the hit. Yeah, yeah. Um, boop, 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 boop. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Big poison. That's in my dude. And, uh, yeah. uh, 19. <laughs> Okay, so that will succeed. Um, We're gonna do D8. I wanna make like an ice character who's just like a hockey player. He just like skates around. Hater, bud. There it is. All right. Do it. You know? All right. Basically, it's just Casey Jones from. Okay. The entire cast of the dogs, too. Oh, that'd be so good. The Bash Brothers. Mm-hmm. Um, I played so, Charlie Conway just making a murder. It's a piece of garbage. It's Coach Bombay. Uh, you take 23 off of the piercing. Okay. And you succeeded the saving throw on that. Yep. So let's save time. Mm. Nice. Nice. Um, nice. And then you take 36 poison. Okay, well, I'm Jesus. almost dead. You had full health, by the way. Yeah, I know. I'm almost dead. I've you got hit twice? Well, with a poison, yeah. It's, well, and, and it's, so it was, it was... Uh, Multiple things hitting him? Yeah, it was three of them. So basically, the three that were on the rooftops from the seven... Because I divided them up into seven uh, groups of seven. Mm-hmm. So basically, of each group of seven, three of each group was on rooftops. Well, th- so they only had to roll a hit once? No, I rolled... Uh, okay. So you rolled as one... They, they all just rolled once to hit. I mean, it, I don't care. They're just almost dead. Oh, that makes sense. Um, let me, let's do this. Let's do this. They all rolled really good. And uh, they all have so, disadvantage. You did this. It still worked. Okay. Because the, the, the one the first one that hit you was actually was the was the lowest one. Okay. So I um, gotta lay on hands, I'll I'll fix you up. Yeah, right? and yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, this will all this will all work out. Um and then I have a thing to say. I also forgot too. I have two actions per turn. I did not take one last time. Oh. Uh so attacks on Jolie. No. Don't do it. Your Discord. Hmm? It's our Discord. I just got Discord. Oh, uh, I'll send you. The Bottle Cap Brigade. Dot com slash the Bottle Cap Brigade. I'll send you an invite. Jesus. Wait, they rolled. Yeah. You saying two nat twenties in a row? Nice. Drink. Nice knowing you, Julie. And that's double because you just picked his dice up. That's exactly how I did it. You don't show up, you can kill Miranda. Uh, Sorry, Miranda. Jolie's going to die. Jesus. Um, Because it doubles damage, right? Doubles dice. Doubles dice. Doubles dice. Oh. Okay. Then she has to do two con saves. She'll have to do three. So we'll just do three con saves real fast. And for any of our friends, like she did find good Discord. on all. So, oh no, she. Uh, I only made you do one con save, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't Seven. Matter. Um. So, she succeeded in the con saves. So that wouldn't have made sense. Two is four. There's eight. Two is twelve. 
15. So she'll take 15 off the piercing. And then six. You guys want to hear a funny joke? Do I ever? Yeah. Why? Why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? <laughs> oh my God. What's that? For drizzle. <laughs> Tell that one at your next stand-up comedy tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You have a uh, first. First uh, crossbow is a twenty-two. Second one is a sixteen. And the third one's an 18. Those will all hit. Okay. Uh, make a con save for me. Do uh, you? Uh, I'll let you do one. Do one con save? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want me to do more? <laughs> I mean, I had... I had Nine. Okay. Um, you're, 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 a, you're a tanky. You're a stinky tank. What? Yeah. It's like Tinky Winky, but like a cousin. Tinky Winky's cousin? Mm hmm. Yo, you know my cousin? Um, Spinky Tink. <laughs> Spinky Tink. So you'll take uh, 18 off okay. of piercing. Okay. As, uh, Ooh. With three crossbow bolts shooting your butt. What kind of armor do you have? In my butt? I have. Um... Oh my god. I have good armor. I have a, a chest plate, a breastplate, medium armor, and heavy armor. Does it have any resistances? Wait to piercing. Do you have, do you have any uh, Sometimes. piercing or poison damage resistances? That one doesn't say anything. You take 10 points of poison damage. Very low roll. Yeah, it doesn't say Super anything low. about... Okay. Um, all right. So these, uh, so uh, so yeah, you guys are, are rushing out on this dragon, and uh, so is that this... twenty eight in total? That's you said eighteen, uh, and then yeah, that's okay. Right. We need to do a quick hydrate. like, huh? Ooh, quick hydrate. hydrate. Thanks, hydrate. Grace. Hydrate. Cheers, Grace. This is the best, Thanks, Grace. Guys. And as you guys take off in this dragon, it's like this. Uh, it's like that scene in three hundred, a little bit mm. with like all Our these bolts. The sun. Yeah, uh, these bolts coming at you guys, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Bolts and asses and uh, arms and shit. Butts I think I'm like, my, most of my body is in the dragon's mouth, so I think it's just like my head and my arms and my face. <laughs> and as we you fly away, I'm stigmated. Yeah, as we fly away, I want to go like this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> is that cool? Yeah. yeah I just, I'm bleeding to death on top of my dragon. It's, we do it's, have <laughs> the sick move. Uh, let's <laughs> look, um, <laughs> I'll get you healed up in a second, buddy. Uh, actually, I need to fix one thing. Two, three. And four is a reroll. All right, one. Daryl, um, I need you... Stretch. <laughs> Needs you to stretch your skin. I need you to retract some damage. Okay. Sweet. Heal that shit. Uh, you, you heal up for ten piercing... And uh, six poison. Okay. Um, because the your crown of madness bitch actually shot oh. one of his buddies. Oh, good mm. thinking. So um, he does that. He fucking misses. Uh, but he doesn't shoot it at you. Yep, that's all we can. So, God damn it. That's what happens. No, not, not one. Um, um, yeah. Cool. So now. Uh, you guys are, are rushing off. It is... They're what off? <laughs> uh, Rusta, you're up. Uh, Ruka, you're on deck. Duh. Um, How far away is this shit, by the way? Um, you guys have uh, said 120 feet, Yeah, right? they move very, very far. So, um, so... I was just curious. Like, roughly. Like, is there a oh, long way? Cool. Now, now, uh, long way to what? To the um, castle. Uh, Where we're going. The chambers, the queen's court. Queen's quarters. Well, I mean, if we figure there's like six. Queen's quest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> we spit everywhere. Um, I mean, yeah, you guys, you guys are, you guys are like sprinting. I'm gonna say uh, probably about six hundred feet. Oh okay. yeah. Thanks, Joe. That still seems very close. I don't know. Yeah, six. I mean, six football fields. Wait. Yeah. No. no, that's yards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's super close. But yeah, six hundred so feet, three fields. football fields. It's two? a pretty long way, and it's probably not that far two from the fields. center. A town. Yeah, yeah. It's two football okay. fields. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Six, uh, three football fields is decent. It's two, so, so that would be six hundred feet. Oh, that's yeah. true. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah nine hundred. We'll, 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 we'll go. We'll go nine hundred feet. Nine hundred okay. feet makes a lot of sense. Fuck math, dude. So you guys, Fuck. you guys are Russian. <laughs> Uh, Thanks to Andy for doing all the math. Andy, I'm for doing a lot of math for us. Yeah, fucker. Um and uh yeah, Rusta, you're up, and Ruka's on deck. Um, no. You see, you see all of these assassins uh, starting to come off of the walls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. Um, <laughs> Humpty Cumpty. <laughs> oh, you. Spanky Tangy. <laughs> Well, we're invisible, right? Yes. So I guess I'm just going to try and follow them as, since they don't know where I am. Okay. Frumple. I'll dash. Same. Also okay. dashing. I'll dash, but then I will turn and face them just so I can see if anything comes at me. Sweet. Yeah, you guys, you guys are doing that. You're holding up their rears. <laughs> Um, and what, what's your move? Stop. <laughs> My movement speed is 30 feet, but I am carrying Frumple. Okay. I think, I mean, Frumple's a pretty small little dude and you got the, you got a whole like fireman's oh. carry thing mm-hmm. going on. I don't, I don't feel like that give me Frumple. makes you slower. Okay. You oh, know? okay. Uh, you, you're, you're all right. Um, it's also like a, 30. It's like a heavy backpack. Yeah, he's a tiny little guy. I don't like this. <laughs> so, uh, so you're booking it. Um, I mean, you're going like about half the rate that they. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Dope. Let's kick it over to Melvin. Um, so, yeah, Melvin, you are uh, you're riding in the mouth of this chromatic dragon. Um, yeah. And yeah, uh, what would you what would you like to do? Um, are we pretty good far away that we're not in any like immediate danger or? Um. When is the dragon's turn? It's right after. It's, me, it's which basically is yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So Melvin, Darrow, and the dragon will all take their turns. Um, math wise, uh, I, would, I mean the thing is they they are about three hundred feet away from you. Um, oh, and they all climbed off the off the roofs too. Like they all yeah, it's way, it's so taken it's, some time. Like yeah, like, so I, it. I'm, I'm I mean, still, you're, I'm not you're in. technically within crossbow range, but it's not an easy situation. Okay. Um, so, is there any way for me to, and I guess I have to ask the dragon this, but <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any way for me to like kind of get out of his mouth and climb up to where you're bleeding out? Yeah, uh, Venus. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, wait. We skipped Jolie's turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now. She can heal yeah, the shit out of you. Let's just do that right now. She can heal the shit out of you. She's on the dragon. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Oh She's right before me. Ooh. I also burped. I just don't do it loud because I'm a lady. Just kidding. <laughs> that sounded like it hurt. <laughs> I that chip your tooth. I don't feel like I could do. I don't feel like I could do any better. It's much. Um, <laughs> I got a teddy bear imprint on my glasses. I had already. I bit these and I took the heads off of them and oh I traded God. them. So Jolie is gonna like. Sure what to do here? Um, uh, start to like wave her arms. You see some golden magic uh, start to form, and these small little kids are like, <laughs> like come on out, and they start patting down Darrow. God, um, God, God, damn it! As uh, she casts cure wounds at fourth level, <laughs> patting him down. Yeah, <laughs> Darrow'd be super into it. God, stop it! <laughs> Harder. Darrow loves kids. <laughs> For the teddy bear. So that's 10, 15. Darrow, you heal up for 25 points of damage. <laughs> that one was my bad, Joe. As all these kids are like, oh, I'm God, for stop me. fucking. Stop. 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 Jolie, Jolie, I swear to God, I'll kill you. I'm sorry. Can I show him Mr. Where Jolly touched me? God. Melvin, it's your turn. I'm freaked out. Not Canon, bad joke. Where are all these kids coming from? 
They they disappear. Oh, <laughs> I freak out even more. Those are just my friends. <laughs> my, my magical friends. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to like. My name's Jolie Jewel. I think the best the jo- I could the do. I think the best I can do is, um, I think I'm just going to do another guiding bolt, except I'm going to do it at a bigger spell. I would say, uh, what's the range on that? 120. Uh, there, you don't have any viable targets within 120. Oh, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, as somebody who is riding in the mouth of the dragon, yeah. as opposed to its back, uh, you should move it up. Okay. Um, oh, then I know what I'm going to do. Great. I'm going to touch the Phoenix mm-hmm. um, with one of my hands, just kind of like touches, I guess, his lip or his jowls, and uh, um, cast uh, Enhance Ability on him at a second level spell. Dope. Nice. What does um, that do? I can choose between. Six different kinds of like abilities to enhance, and I guess like should I do bear's endurance? What does it do? Gains uh, an additional two d six temporary hit points. Sure. Yeah. There's nothing for like movement speed. Um. There's some for strength, dexterity. There's some for dexterity. Uh, the uh, target has advantage on dexter- dexterity saving checks. It also doesn't take damage from falling twenty feet or less if it's incapacitated. That might be helpful, but I mean either one. It's your it's your spell. Mm-hmm. I think they're all good picks. Yeah, I think I'll give him temp hit points. Cool. Just in case he gets hit. Yeah. How many? Um, uh, two d six. Not great. Four hit points. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a that's a crossbow bolt. You know. Um, and then I'll do it again. For the cat's grace thing. Okay, so you it get, doesn't uh, take damage. On do you fall. get two actions or do you get two, two attacks? Actions. Two full actions. Because she's broken. At, oh, attacks per action. Never mind. I'm so sorry. So it's just the. I'll just give him uh, endurance. No boopsies. Bears endurance. Cool. You. Uh, <laughs> you're like I'm flapping in his mouth. And <laughs> and uh and uh where where you place your hands uh he uh the it starts to grow a little bit of bear fur on this uh draconic spirit it's like a mustache it's just, <laughs> give him a mustache <laughs> it's a little mustache just, just like, like a tom just like your dad the uh dad. the assassin captain's super pissed because oh, he feels like you yeah. stole Cat. his eyebrows fake, and put him on the dragon dad. perfect um all right let's go over to dara oh wait do you have anything else no, I just say, there you go, big guy. <laughs> okay, uh, so after getting healed, um, I want to look back and I want to see if um, they're, if, are they all, like, kind of clumped up at this point after moving down the walls or, like... Uh, they're, I mean, they're they're more clumped than they were, for sure, because they're kind of closing in on you. Um, let's do this. Uh, I would like, actually, you and Melvin uh, to both roll... Actually, Melvin, roll perception for me. I thought you just ate your d20. <laughs> I did too. Oh. Can't roll, sorry. Oh. <laughs> perception, 18. Um, cool. So as as you're uh, as you're kind of you're 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 seeing what the dragon sees basically because you're in the dragon's mouth. Um, you guys are passing. Um, it kind of get, as you're getting closer to the castle, uh, you notice some guards on either side of you. Uh oh. Um, they're, and they're basically just like hiding behind the wall. Sick. Hey guys, we're going. We're um. We have friends. <laughs> Melvin, show them your Punisher logo. I don't have one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't. I, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll deal with it when we get there. Okay. Your Venus has a mustache now. Is it like, is it sick though? Yeah. Does it look like he's rich? I don't know how to answer the question sometimes. Like pop pop, like sun, you know? Oh God. (laughs) You don't have to call me dad, it's okay, Venus does. 
I can't hear you. The wind is in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So the guards are like, how far away are they? Uh, they, uh, they're on either side of this. Uh, up, they're up against the wall as you guys are like uh, running through like this pathway here. Oh, um, so they're basically hiding. Well, we're flying. Kind of we're like up in the air. Oh, did you? I thought you said that you were running. That you sprint 120 feet. I fly it's 60 like, feet. Boof, 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 and you like, okay, so you're flying now. All right. Well, I mean, you still see the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So, so you, you you ran 60 feet and then took off and started flying. No, feet. no, my fly speed is 60 feet, oh. so it can it can start flying. Okay. And so I flew with. The I got sprint confused here. whenever you said 120. Yeah. So that's just because I sprinted. That's my action. Okay. As its action. Cool. Yeah, it's a, a, a cool. flying sprint. So you are you are flying. Yes. Yeah, you still see the same thing. I mean, yeah, you don't have to fly, be flying too high. Uh, yeah, I'm just right. like yeah. gra- grazing the ground. It changes like, the fucking fuck like math, but I don't yeah. think it matters. Anymore. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah. Anyway. So are the are the guards like friendly? Do do have I like seen them? Do I know if they're like chill? Um. Uh, uh, you 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 recognize them as uh, Tamari's high guard. Oh, okay, so they're like chill. Okay, uh, yeah, so super baked. Yeah, um, pizza. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna cast darkness like behind us, in like from the ground, like up above us, in like a circle, so shit can't like see through. The circle of darkness. Okay. Um, and I would assume it would make it very hard to fire a weapon. Yeah. Uh, what's a general area that you want to cast this darkness? Like so, behind us. It, I don't really give a shit about Ruka and yeah. Like okay. uh, how far away? I, mean, I guess we'll just have to run through it. Yeah. You just, and I mean, yeah, you totally can. Because I'm I'm making it like a yeah. like flat. You know, like I'm not wall. making it thick. I'm okay. just making it like a flat wall sure. of darkness. That, okay. They can't see through, um, which that ends the other shit, the crown of madness. Okay. Um, yep. Uh, and so that's what I want to do. It's 15 foot. It's okay. a 15 foot radius. Uh, fif- ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, and then that's the only action that I want. Sweet. And, uh, so you do that, and this uh, this thirty foot by thirty foot wall of darkness cool. appears uh, appears behind you. Um, Ruka and Rusa, of course, you guys see this, and um, you start to uh, to notice the assassins are pissed about it. Um, and oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, God, what do we do now? Yeah. We hate the dark. <laughs> uh, a chromatic dragon, and Venus, you're up. Yeah, uh, we're gonna fly sprint. Closer to the thing. Uh, 120 feet? Yep. Oh, I hate flying. It's, it gets a little shaky. <laughs> whenever, you get, whenever he gets a mustache on him, he just... When, whenever Phoenix does that, uh, you get tickled. Because you're very ticklish. And he's telling you, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> That's how he left. <laughs> Can't wait to tell Melvin some jokes. <laughs> Jesus. It's good laugh. Um, that was, it's some good laugh. It's good laugh. So we get to the assassins' turns, and um, they see this. Uh, they see this wall of darkness come up, um, and uh, Rook and Rusa, you guys can you guys can both see that they 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 slow their pursuit, um, and uh, they all they all kind of. Uh, Your mom. Yeah. That old fucking um, start GB and your mom. So you see, dude. you see the captain start to do just like like little hand signals, right, to get them to go different places. His balls and are still out. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it with his dick. He just <laughs> right there. Got a boss. Um, and so, um, you guys see oh, shit. Two, two go this way, and the uh, boss and the others go this way. 
And they're basically, they start to parkour through the rubble. And I figured um, out that I have shared resistances with whatever dragon I summon. Mm. So, oh, yeah, it's good mm. enough for future reference. Yep. Um, cool. So, uh, so they they start to rush toward the rubble. Um, and they're they're going underground. Mole people. Um, they they're they're they all dash, and it's uh, sixty feet. So um, they have But they're going it. through rubble though, right? So it's well, they haven't. What, what I was about to say was they haven't made it to the rubble yet because the okay. market square is large enough to where they can't actually get in there. But you see them start to do that. Mm-hmm. What? And are they just kind of going off in different directions into the rubble? Yep. Okay. And also with them moving off to the side, would that open up line of sight to see us continuing to fly away? Well, I mean, I just want to make sure. Um, I would say, uh, I would say they can, yeah, they can. S- they can see, but they know we're just like moving too I, fast. I think they probably think, can't get there. Yeah, they they know you're moving fast. Uh, you're you guys aren't flying too far off of the ground, so I think I mean they can probably pick up like wing movements and shit, just like on either side of this wall that you know in the small space between the wall and the building. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, they, basically the captain is indicating that for them to do other shit and not not okay. pursue through the fucking darkness wall like dumbasses because they're mm-hmm. they're assassins who's up next uh up next is rusta followed by ruka um i'm gonna turn and hand thrumple to ruka oh and that and i'm just gonna go don't wait up i'm gonna start following Oh, fucking sweet. Uh, group closest. Yep. Nice. Um, go ahead and just roll a stealth uh, roll with advantage for me. Nat 20. You <laughs> fucking wreck. Nat 20! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 33. Um, so yeah, you're you're tailing uh, you're tailing the one that's closest, and uh you're you're stealthy enough that um, you uh, you recognize that you could probably make an attack on one of these, uh, mm-hmm. some kind, without anyone fucking noticing. It's like it's like that green beret shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, and there's no um, distance on invisibility, so you just have it for up to an hour. So so go ahead go ahead and roll. Uh, just, just roll an attack. Oh okay. Uh, with uh, and uh, treat it as a sneak attack. And probably my bow, right? Uh, uh, Unless I've no, you're. I, I would close say that distance. You, yeah, okay. yeah. Consi- Are consi- you attacking one of them? I mean, they, they because they're ahead of you guys in the initiative order, and mm-hmm. they're like doing this thing. Like they they were able to get into position close enough to where like you could. Have boop, 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 and mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna pick a straggler. Would I still be able to notice where like someone else goes, or? If I do that, well, I kind of like lose track of that. Uh, no, I mean it's 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 pretty clear, like like where they're going. This is something. I mean, you rolled two nat twenties. You just He's fucking pick one you. off. Yeah, He's like, it to you. <laughs> uh, Taylor, love you. I'm not picky. Wow, I just rolled two thirteens. What so, the fuck is Drake? Are you okay? <laughs> Again. So 22 for the... Yeah, that'll hit as fuck. Um, go ahead and roll some sneak attack damage on this guy. Well, not very much sneak attack damage, unfortunately. Not picky. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a half. 21. I saw damage. this. Is that wormwood? 21 damage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you want to do this? So, <gasps> so yeah, <laughs> so I'm just going to come up with my double bladed scimitar and just, but, uh, well, you know, I have like blade here, blade yeah. here. I'm just going to come straight across and like <laughs> across the throat and back and then. Dope. Uh, and just like, 
yeah. set it off and like drop it off to the side. And, yeah, don't. And, yeah, that's keep exactly my, what you do. Keep my eyes on the one in front of him. You do. Um, it, like you're you're moving stealthy, stealthily as fuck. You're able to make this attack without even breaking your invisibility. You just like right across the dude's throat, and then you help him to the ground as you continue your pursuit of. Um, let, let's say uh, you're following these guys. Yeah, so, closest to me. Yeah. So that's kind of what's happening here. And you keep the knock one out. Dope. Um, Ruka. Running. Oh, do you, do you have anything else? That's it. Cool. I'm just sprinting. Okay. Let's take that dash action, Daddy. Cool. And I'm assuming since I'm so big, I don't. Doesn't matter. I've got a little. Yeah. Matter. It didn't matter. I mean, it didn't matter. Else, so. so um. I'm just like, cool. <laughs> you got you got thirty movement speed, yeah. Yeah. So it's sixty. Sweet. Um, go it's ahead like carrying and, a bat. Uh, go ahead and make a stealth roll for me with advantage. It's cocked as fuck. 15. So it's a 15 plus one of the selfless. Do I need to check it? Maybe. Maybe. Nice. You're, a, you're a large thing. Invisible. 17. Cool. Um, yeah, you're fine. Which uh, which ones are you pers- are you pursuing? Any? Or are you? I'm going to the palace. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so you're dope sauce. All right, Jolie is on the back of the drag on the back of the dragon, uh, and she is going to cure some motherfucking wounds of some kind. Um, I think. Uh, she will second level cure wounds on Darrow. Right. Bing. Um, actually, let me see if she can do it. I feel like. I need to spell. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, that was a thing I was supposed to do before. Oh god damn it! Okay, so yeah, she's gonna she's gonna uh, cast that on Darrow. She was uh, she gained six HP off of the last spell that she cast on you because she has a thing that heals herself whenever she heals other people. Okay, because that's pretty good. Um, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's good for me too. <laughs> um, so yeah, Darrow, you are going to regain. Some uh, fucking hit points. So these uh, these fucking uh, not as many kids as before pop out uh, from her magic. Um, but uh, but there's still a couple, and you get a little two d eight. I, I use um, mage hand to smack them away. Uh, so they're so they're they're on you. They're doing that thing. Like you're holding their forehead, and, and, and they barely touch you right before you smack them, and you get uh, eighteen points. Uh, oh, I'm not uh, touching you. I'm not touching you. My brother. Uh, I say, God, fuck, Jolie. I'm gonna fucking pay you money to stop. We need to work on this in your therapy session. Jolie. Yeah, I'll tell you what you need to know about my therapy session, Jolie, is that I don't actually do them, and you're just talking to yourself the whole time. We're gonna talk about that during our therapy That's session. That's what she said, isn't it? Melvin, tell her to shut up. Oh, I'm being tickled. All right, uh, Melvin, uh, it is your turn. Um. <laughs> um there's hardly much I could do. Can I get out of this dragon's mouth? Is there room for me up there? God, I guess, Melvin. Just there's a bunch of fucking kids up here. I don't want to disappear. You're gonna be all wet. Just what? come on, just get up here. Just get up here. Yeah, I want to climb out of the dragon's mouth and go get up on top. And I use prestidigitation to clean him up before he gets to that only gets anywhere to close to touching you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good call. Um, uh, can you can you describe how you're doing? Uh, I'm gonna very carefully like penis. I assume he's gonna just like open his mouth. I don't know how wide. Hopefully not that much. I'm gonna be like, no, no, all the way. And I'm just gonna like, gonna like try and climb up onto the snout first, and then like shimmy up to like past the eyebrows, and then like kind of be like 
sat, like straddling backwards but right behind the ears on its head. Yeah. Like ah. uh, looking at them. Just so just roll a roll an athletics check. Ooh, I'm good at athletics. <laughs> I made a cake. That's cake a 10. Okay. <laughs> you roll a 10? I rolled a 10. <laughs> would it be a save or would it be a. I guess it does, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah just flat all athletics. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, so you start to do that. Um, and then, um, right, just as you're about to, uh, to like put your foot up um, onto the snout, you slip a little bit ah! and, and, you, and you start to fall. Um, you are now holding on to the ear of the, the ear hole of this dragon. You have it, your hand in its ear hole. Ew. Um, and you're just like holding on. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Not better than the mouth, for sure. Do you need help, Melvin? Just say, yes, Darrow, I need your help. And I pledge my indentured servitude to you for the next three to four hundred years. Can you roll uh, this strength? Saving throw for the dragon. Oh, um, well, doesn't it have advantage because of the bear stuff? Or no, no, oh, I, didn't just I didn't give him. I didn't I mean, it's not good. Sorry. It's it's really not. Uh, it is a oh. seven. Wait, six, six. Oh, uh, just out of curiosity, would a Constitution saving throw change it for the worst? Worse, yeah. Uh, make it worse. Okay, make it five. It doesn't matter. Um. Uh, so yeah, I mean the dragon is not enjoying it, you hanging by its ear hole. Yeah. Uh, so like it's starting to like turn down. Um, I will say uh, the the act of you climbing uh, will treat as your movement. So yeah. You, uh, w- I still get an action. You still you can still have an action here as as the How high in the dragon air are we? you're steering it. You're you're only like this crimson. No, that's how it, it, it's made. It's a margarita. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. You're about 30 feet off. 30 feet. Damn it. Um, okay. There's something I could do. <laughs> We're still in turn for Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. You are welcome to use your action to climb up. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll try and climb up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was okay. gonna try and do something different. Like I could let go and then ca- cast the dexterity enhance ability thing on me, but cast it once I fall in ten feet because it only doesn't. It like I won't get any damage from falling twenty feet. Um. I don't know if that would work, but uh, I'll I'll just try and climb up. Yeah, I would. That would be. Yeah, that's that's the. That's the move. That's the move. I'm gonna try and stay on this airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Great and, movie. Uh, There's and, a monkey on the way. <laughs> uh, just just roll one more athletics. Okay. Oh. Eighteen. Okay, that'll do it. Okay. Cool. So um so. Because of the way that the that the dragon is starting to like have, you, you're able to like reach a little like tiny horn that it has on its snout. Yeah. Um, because it's basically helping you out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and uh, pull yourself up onto. The, I do a cool rock climbing yeah. move where I basically use my arms to like swing my my legs up, and then I kind of like. Yeah. So so now you're surfing on the dragon's head. Yeah. Hi. Get down from there, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I very like s- slowly squat down. Get down from there, melt. <laughs> uh, cool. You got anything else? No, that's it. Darrow time. Uh, I just say, Melvin, do you do you want me to like s- strap you down? Do you need me to help? No, it's cool. Take? And then I'm just gonna like hold on to the the neck of the dragon, cool. like right behind the ears. Okay, yeah. be really careful. <laughs> <What's that>? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Good job. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, I can I still see any of them? Uh, see any of what? The uh, the little, the baddies. Yeah. Um, I would say uh, probably not. You guys are actually a lot more visible than they are because they are tiny little assassin people, and you're and you're sitting flying on a dragon. Um, 
So, I mean, you can, I mean, you see a little bit of movement. You can tell kind of where they are, okay. but in terms of like identifying. That's fine. That's all I mean. Cool. Um, can I see like the, which ones can I, do I kind of know where they're at? Um, so I'm imagining this freaking uh, like wall of darkness, just mm-hmm. like right in here. Yep. So you can, you can see both of them through like little slits on either side of that wall. Okay. I want to fire at the one on my right, like my human right yep okay um i i'm just gonna i'm just gonna toss a good old fireball out in their general direction Get that fireball. so it's a 20 foot radius and they do a deck save yeah that is strange <laughs> yeah 300 feet bro. Um, i have spell sniper too. yeah yeah huh. i can uh, fucking yeah. snipe with fireball <laughs> <laughs> So their so like the saving yeah. throw is a 16. Uh, they lose. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to roll one for each or? Uh, no, I okay. kind of take two fucking. Okay. Um, so it's 8d6. You guys weren't supposed to fight these guys. So. Oh, well, we're not. I'm just, I'm just being okay. shitty at this point. Frankly. No, this, this is fine. Uh, you're not, uh, you're not harming any, uh, any friendlies in this attack. So. You say 8d6? Mm-hmm. It's probably oh, whatever it is, yeah. have it. Thanks. Because they do have evasion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Twelve. They uh they take twelve. Okay, yep. cool. So yeah, you uh you send this fireball um there, and they they basically just like all go flying. And anything in the area just lights on fire. I want it to be like someone is dropping fucking bombs on a on fucking on a city just out of nowhere a giant bomb comes out of the sky and gives them PTSD that's what I'm hoping for and I turn back to Melvin and I say we should be okay <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> I mean I hope they still have flesh what don't worry about it there's civilians down there not right there there aren't at least anymore not we're okay <laughs> Not in that rubble. <laughs> um, and then I just say, well, it's okay, Jolie. Let's go, Melvin. Thanks, Phoenix. This has been real. So, okay. Y'all done? Yep. It's uh, Phoenix's turn. Melvin. Cool. You guys. I get Phoenix for 10 minutes, right? You guys have been for a while. I would say that uh, at this point, you guys have uh, successfully left combat. Oh, at least, hour. at least, uh, Melvin, Darrow, and Jolie, and Jolie have all okay. successfully left combat. <sighs> what was the name of the gal that got killed? That was like the in charge of the police. Um, was it Esme? Yeah, you're thinking Esme was in charge of the treasury. Yeah, that way. yeah. thank you. Cool. cool. Just need names. Um, sweet. So you guys have successfully let, uh, left combat. Um, we're going to do some assassin time. So. Uh, so these guys are over here and they're like, oh no, the giant fireball in me. The, yeah. Do they have PTSD? Um, did, do they sound like they have PTSD some days? Yeah. <laughs> then they have PTSD. They okay, have I, was asking. I was asking for the fucking viewers. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so they, they, they all kind of like uh, collect themselves um, from this fireball attack that they had to Thanks, parkour Taylor. away from. And uh, they hop, uh, they continue to parkour into this area. Um, yeah, and then we go to uh, the two other groups, and they're headed into this area. And um, Ruzda and Ruka, uh, I need you guys to roll perception for me. Is it a nose perception? Nope. 19. Mm. 10. The moment you guys hear these assassins, or once these assassins uh, uh, are uh, kind of get into this rubbly area, um, you guys hear a lot of commotion. As uh, you, you guys don't really know what it is, um, but you hear some screams, you hear some uh, some swords clashing, um, you hear uh, one distinct <gasps> uh, uh, that would fall under screams. Uh, <laughs> um, that was a distinct scream. one. Well, it, it was it was a specific one that I didn't that I, I it's hard to do a scream in an accent. Um, <laughs> oh, screaming. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Sorry. Cool. Uh, and that's that's what you guys hear. <laughs> and now it's Rooster's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pursue that one group. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so you keep up on uh, the moment you get in there, um, you see uh, amongst the rubble uh, the the assassins fighting Tamari and her and her high guard, um, and yep. Tamari's fucking going nuts on these bitches. Uh, she's like in her uh, like decked out in her armor. She has a very very round. She has a, a very very round shield. It's so fucking round. It's a perfect it's circle. <laughs> it's like that one guy who professor and could draw the most perfect circle of anyone that could draw on the chalkboard. Yeah. 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 Can't do it. I, my circle would look. We all bad. just did that. Um, I know he looks like a dick. <laughs> oh no! I tried to draw a circle, but I drew a dick. No, I'm oh. sorry, class. Uh, Welcome to kindergarten. Yeah, she's uh, she's Freshman fucking year. going nuts. She has. Oh, God. Uh, She's radiating holy energy. She's decked out um, in her cape. She has her shield and a long sword um, and dope ass like uh, plate armor um, mm-hmm. that, you know, in little plates. Uh, it looks like fucking Wonder Woman. It's great. Um, and uh, they're all kicking ass. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to, I guess, break invisibility and notch my bow and take a shot at the back of one of them. Dope. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll attack and uh, treat it as a sneak attack. I'll tell you guys a story really quick. The one time when I watched the Wonder Woman movie where she beats the shit out of that Nazi at the end, I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, it was like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest Marvel scene ever. Uh, Which one is that? Green Nazis. Cool. You yeah. definitely hit. Um, go ahead and roll damage. What? Which one is that? The um, and can you tell me the which one, one you're Bidell? shooting at? Are you shooting at the captain or shooting at one of the one of the groups? Oh, I'll shoot at the captain. I didn't realize fall that group, but uh, yeah, I'll shoot at the captain. Thank okay. you. Yeah, the, the captain is in this group, and she and uh, the captain is uh, engaged in combat with. Him. Yeah. Tamil and I are are uh, like banging too, right? Twenty. <laughs> Twenty nine <laughs> damage. Twenty nine damage. Yeah. Uh, so you. Uh, you you cock your bow. Uh, <laughs> Boing. And you check a thing. Have the arrow bound balanced right on the on my boner. Okay. <laughs> it's like this. I you grab it. Have the arrow balanced right on my. <laughs> the fucking the tension all 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 by itself. Hey, so, welcome to America's Got Talent. So uh, you. <laughs> Uh, is there a particular place that you're aiming with this? I'm just gonna like square between the shoulders. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, you know, you you don't hit your mark uh, entirely, but uh, like just as uh, this this captain is about to go in uh, for a swipe, like your arrow like comes right through their shoulder, mm-hmm. um, and uh, you're you have a special uh, bow that does cool shit. Um, That's force damage. Yeah, yeah my arrows. I sh- I use a regular arrow, but then when I fire it, it turns into forced energy and uh-huh. and it's basically it disappears. And so then you hear a Jedi come in the far far galaxy. <laughs> it's Qui Gon. Obi Wan. Fuck. How much damage did you deal? I did. It was like 20 20, 29. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, you see this. Uh, you hit him in the shoulder, and his arm like starts to so dangle natural. from like flesh and muscle okay. and, uh, from his like lower chest um, there as he attempts to. And it's just this floppy arm just kind of like circles around, and then he looks up at Tamari as uh, she shoves her sword right in his mouth. Hell oh. yeah! <laughs> I am no man. <laughs> Great. I was a Lord of the Rings. Wonder Woman. Suck right? on that, bitch it's kid. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Um, as as the uh, it sounds as like the you're rest of the sand. What is happening over there? As the rest sand of the assassins so much sand. Uh, see their captain fall, um, they start to get really fucking worried, um, and they attempt to flee. Cool. Cut the head off the snake. You know what I, you know what, you know what I mean. And then eat yes. its ass. Yep. <laughs> they cut the head off and suck it. Uh, <laughs> Ruka. Miranda, come nah. back. Oh, wait. Do you have anything else? No stuff? Nope. I'm nope. sprinting to the pallet. Ruka. Um, and you also, you hear commotion over here. They're also fighting. 
Yep, sprinting to the palace. I have no idea what's happening over here. So these guys are running away and each. Cool. And this guy's fucked. Cool. Um, sweet. So let's. I, I think uh, Ruka no. has successfully left combat. Okay. Um, so we have a couple of assassin groups engaged with Tamari's high guard, and they are kicking ass because we don't have a captain. And then Rusa, you're chilling with uh, Tamari. So um, you see, I mean, some of her high guard uh, kind of chase off these assassins. Um, and uh, go ahead and roll history for me. Nineteen. Okay, so you know, uh, you know, just uh, from your history with Frumple, and uh, whenever he was telling you about the Young Living, they uh, money is important to the mm-hmm. Young Living, right? And without money, they don't they don't give a shit. Um, so considering Frumple's out, and especially now that their kitchen's out, cat. God damn it. <laughs> is that a ghost or did your ass just talk? <laughs> Um, <laughs> it helped with some ceramics, that's for sure. <laughs> you're, you're, you're confident that because because you've basically cut the head off this snake, mm-hmm. that the that the unmoving <laughs> probably will not be a problem for Marin anymore. That they're likely going to retreat to uh, one of their strongholds in other cities or cool. wherever their uh, cash flow is coming from. Cool. Um, and so you know, um, some of the high guard chase off and Tamari. Uh, uh, walks up to you and she's fucking ripped as shit, and uh, she's cleaning the blood off her blade. I'm glad what? you're safe, Rooster. We got the information for, uh, on these bitches uh, from when we were <laughs> skating all this shit. Also, I'm a little bit concerned about uh, the rest of the High Council. We found Esme dead in her in, in her office. Oh my god. Um. Well. There's more to it than that. We need to get back to the rest of the brigade at, at the castle. Oh. Palace. The fancy place. <laughs> the Motel 6 around the corner. Yeah. Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We going to have an issue with the assassins? I, at this point, I don't think we will anymore. We, we've taken out the captain. We have the, the body of the... So... Oh. All right, well, high guard, come back. <laughs> Retreat to the castle. <laughs> My um, name is Cameron. <laughs> come on, he's now. Uh, cool. So, uh, yeah, you guys, you heading to the castle? Yeah, yeah. That's us. Everybody's heading to the castle. Neat shit. Um, let's hop over to these motherfuckers who are getting to the castle before everybody else does. Um, cool. So you guys, you guys get there. Um, you, uh, uh, Phoenix lands, uh, in front of the castle, um, doorsteps now, um, uh, lion's dead. You guys have been in the castle before, but you know, That's a good song. <laughs> you, you know that there's actually that, uh, the main castle area does have an open roof so that while, uh, Phoenix would not be able to walk through the front hey, doors, everyone. uh, you know, there's a, there's I actually want roof. Phoenix to like hang out and... Like maybe if he can perch uh, a, atop the the main entry and keep an eye out for um, negative influences that would attempt to penetrate the walls. Yeah, you know, yeah. or girthy like, influences. Uh, is it is there a particular pose that you would like for Phoenix to make? Yep. Glad you asked. Actually. <laughs> cool. So, Phoenix. Yeah, that's going to show up on stream. Phoenix like, <laughs> yeah. is uh, chilling on top of the castle, <laughs> looking looking between its own legs as if it's giving birth uh, to baby Phoenix. <laughs> um, and I suspect you guys go in? Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm going to scooch in there. And I just say, Melvin, good job not dying. I, I want to congratulate you, Marvin. <laughs> Good job not dying. God damn it, Melvin. <laughs> uh, this is the first time I've ever flown. Yeah, I could tell, but you didn't die, and that's all. I think you're like fall off the dragon. 
<laughs> You're like, huh? Huh? What? <laughs> I just I wake uh, up so and I start clapping. Let's, let's do this. You are still on the dragon. Okay. Um, and uh, the dragon has gently uh, positioned you right on its belly. It's now in that position that uh, that <laughs> Sam had outlined, just like yeah. fucking spread eagle yeah. on top of the thing. And legs uh, up in the air. And <laughs> you basically you turn and you see the dragon and the legs and yeah, that's what you see. <laughs> he does that when he yeah. likes someone, and he likes you. That's good. Yep. That's you, good. Do you want to well, one of your world famous apparently romances with Venus, my dragon? No. What are you talking about? I just you said you were a ladies' man. So I I mean I said I I even though you're broke as fuck I <laughs> I start like I, I just run into the castle I guess more. So you're on the roof. With, with, uh, with Venus. <laughs> I run right off the roof. <laughs> Reroll no, your don't. character. <laughs> I mean, you, you can you can do it how you want. Uh, I'll just run towards the door so I can get down off the roof. Like, is there any rubble? Uh, I mean, there, 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 is, oh. there is a way you could probably parkour your way out. Just jump. Like. Just jump. Can I look over the edge and see if there's any like if there's any fighting below? I'll catch you. Yeah, just do it. Um, you don't see any fighting. Fucking it's, do it's it. It's literally just you guys uh, in front of the uh, in front of the castle. Oh, okay. Huh? There's nothing happening down there. Just jump. I mean, I'm sure there's like an opening mm-hmm. to get well, off. Well, do you there. trust me? Not really, sir. If I'm being just honest. Just do it. Just do it. Jump. Do it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> it's only like thirty feet. Come on. Uh, he just says, wow. 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 I can't tell if he's wow. encouraging you or encouraging me to not do he's it. He's saying do it. You wow. Come on, you've never done anything cool in your whole life. I've done a lot of cool things. Wow. One thing about, I was I, I read the most books in under a day. Okay. Have you ever not done that and just jumped off of a fucking roof and trusted that your friend will catch you? Are you gonna catch me? Yeah. If I fall? Yep. I think, this wow. is, I think this is a huge friend moment for Velvet, and mm-hmm. he's trying to be an adventure guy, so I think he's gonna do it. Do it. I think the peer pressure got to him. Okay. Do it. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna look at, and then he's gonna look, and then he's gonna go ah, <laughs> like he's just aim for the bushes. Yeah. Are you catching? Are you catching? I, I, I want to wait until the very last possible fucking second and cast levitate when Melvin's like a fucking inch off the ground. Uh, roll. <laughs> I don't know. I won't parkour my way down. I, um, I don't know. I mean, yeah. you, you might. Are you uh, yeah, you're definitely rolling decks. Uh, roll decks as well. Ooh. We'll go off of timing. Decent. Um, 20, one. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think, uh, so you go ahead, you, you were, you you cast Levitate, it, your timing was not good. I'm gonna err on the side of caution, obviously. No. Uh, I mean, you, you cast Levitate, your timing's a little bit off, but, uh, combined with, uh, Melvin's, uh, dexterous stylings, uh, yeah, uh, you're fine. You're able to. Do, it's not the most graceful jumping off of a roof into a skinny Samars, uh, you know, whatever's. But uh, you make it happen. Sweet. Okay. So I'm on the floor in front of the castle. <laughs> yeah, everybody's everybody's on the on the stairs. Um, and God, uh, and you guys you guys have taken enough time for this interaction for Roos to actually catch up with you. Ruka. Oh, Ruka. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Did you see me jump off the roof? That I'm was still cool. invisible. You're still invisible. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, wow, that I'm, was really cool. My ankles kind of hurt. I should uh, stretch more. Who's all there? Uh, uh, Darrow, Melvin, uh, Jolie. Uh, 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 Jolie, and Venus. Yeah, I'm walking past them, and I, I'm assuming that I'm going to go uninvisible as I like fling open the door. <laughs> so, do you think that you necessarily have to go do that? I'm um, I'm choosing to go uninvisible. Okay, that's like, clear, baby. Go it, it's like it's like the. Boom! And then, as like the hand touches, the rest of him goes on invisible. As he walks through, I need to speak to the queen. Where did he come from? Hopefully, she's okay now. Um, yeah, you. Uh, so you do that. Um, you get in there. Everybody sees the doors open. Scared that shit. And uh, you see uh, up at. Uh, 
up the stair the stairway to the queen's quarters um and this is this is about 80 feet away from you um that uh strauss has the queen like he's holding her up by the hair and he has her sword at the throat how far is he from me right now 80 feet okay oh shit oh god stop right there no one move and we're gonna go on break Yay! Cool beans. Anyways, that music wasn't doing fuck. Uh, but cool. Thank, uh, thank you all for doing do a little peepee time. Maybe gr- grab a drinky drink because you'll because we're probably gonna keep rolling How that one. Break for peepee time. Go uh, make a grilled cheese. Come back in season two, episode nine, the phoenixing. We are on episode ten right now. So you- Hi, we're live again. Hey, look out! Uh, our mustaches up and our yep. Welcome back, to everybody, to season two, episode ten. Uh, uh, from under the rubble, I'm pretty sure is what. Uh, and so you guys know, Darrow <laughs> now has changed from being a thin blue line supporter to a thin Baja Blast supporter because it makes me feel less gross about myself uh-huh. after I say it. But you'll only do it if they bring back the Mexican pizza. Do they not? What's, Double decker taco. What What's was the, so amazing about this Mexican pizza? It was the greatest. It was a tostada. That was. put your mic on. <laughs> oh, it was talk amazing. about the tostada. It was a tostada. None of us had mics had on. Tostada on top. My mic. This like, was a very, enchilada sauce and cheese. What's the difference between? It's a very official setup, everybody. Which is why you should give us money. What's that? What's the difference between that and uh, the crunch wrap? Crunch wrap supreme is a like. Flour tortilla that's but wrapped it, it, around just all the same ingredients, no. just in a different shape. Not even. French Wrap Supreme is a is a huge flour tortilla with um a mixture like it's like it's got meat, you got cheese, you got sour cream, Baja you got Blast. Baja Blast squirted <laughs> in there like crazy. Um, and you know and where it's squirted from? <laughs> where <Mother> Baja herself? <laughs> it's the Baja slur. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a uh, uh, there's a tostada in it, and then a little bit more, and then it's like folded up, and then toasted on both sides, so that pretty little boy is all nice and ready for your and then Mexican pizza, hot mouth tostada, meat and cheese and sauce, tostada, enchilada sauce, tomatoes, cheese. It's called a pizza. You probably need a fork though. So it's not a pizza. It's no, just a it seems like a food. sandwich with stuff on top. It's yeah. delicious, like a oh, fried sandwich. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> no, it's a no, hot dog. It's no. a hot dog. It's a penis shaped food. The soup is salad. No, it's a dick. Soup mm. is salad. No, no I disagree. What you, is a taco cause... then? Is a taco a hot dog? It's no a taco. No, I think <laughs> a hot dog is. I think a hot dog is like the thing. Okay, let me ask you this then. <laughs> Wait, if I get a hot dog and I, I, I fucking rack this boy up with toppings and then um, the, I don't think a hot dog is anything to do with toppings or shape or anything. Hot dog is the thing itself. But then I like I, I take the bread and it splits on the side that it's connected. Then it is it a sandwich then? then? It's a sandwich. No, no, it's not. It's what's inside a hoagie. Of it? What's inside of it? A hoagie, but no, I disagree with all of it. No, it's not a meat. It's a hot dog. And it's definitely not a meat because it's so a hot you know dog. What they hot call dog hot sandwich. dogs? Then, you know what they called hot dogs back, like when they had stands for hot dogs, like a back sausage? in the days? No, like hey, sandwiches. Pig dick. Pig dick sandwich. And <laughs> like, was that? Sorry. 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 What? No. We're not just talking about penises on Taco this Bell. Street. If you're tuned into this conversation, bring back your hot dogs. Also, uh, <laughs> at, for my brother, I want to say thank you because he won the. The uh the Crunchwrap box thing a while ago, and he got an Xbox One Taco Bell edition, and it's cool as shit. It's amazing. <laughs> and every time he turns it on, instead of the Xbox One sound, it makes the Taco Bell ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> one, one more that question. Dope as hell. Did he just have to like sign up for that, or did he do something? No, he just got the the box, and then he did entered the, the code in, and they're like, "Yeah, you win." And he was like, "Oh, that's sure, amazing." I, yeah. I want Taco Bell everything. Yeah, Taco Bell, send us everything. I want a Taco Bell mom. I want a Taco Bell. <laughs> no, your dad's the best. We've met him a few times. My dad is pretty. He's cool. got a wet fucking nut. Dude. <laughs> oh my god! Wasn't <laughs> 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 your mom watch this? <laughs> yeah, for your dad's wet fucking nuts. <laughs> 
What? I don't know. Probably not this far in. Sorry, Mom. Hmm. Well, if you are watching this far in, I'm sorry. Uh, but thank you. Uh, you also, welcome you also back knew you were in for. to episode 10. Here's what's happened so far in this episode. Uh, if you're just now hopping in this popper. Uh, so the Bottle Cap Brigade reunited in the center of the Market Square of Marin. Um, and they were just about to you know skip on over to the uh, castle time but then all of the unliving uh, agents that were still in the city at their posts uh popped up and kind of ambushed them in the market square there so there was this dope ass little like runaway scene as uh the fucking assassins were like shooting their crossbow bolts and like daryl almost died but you know that they, they got a wet they, nut we flew away. Cat's dad showed up, and uh, then stop talking about my dad. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, it made you. <laughs> Cat, don't quit. <laughs> and then Tamari and her high guard kicked uh, kicked a bunch of ass. Um, and uh, who knows what's happening to these other assassins who were fighting to, but now they're in the castle and oh god uh Strauss the dick fuck uh has uh the queen holding her by her hair she's not happy about it but he's not happy about anything and she that's where like we it. are <laughs> she's gonna say right context also is rooster um, there yet also uh <laughs> Phoenix is having a pap smear on the top of the castle yep <laughs> I just left, and then I heard the smallest little. <laughs> <laughs> what was like that? Green so, 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 like, like it, did, so it didn't like stay. Well, it kind of. Like, I was trying to see what happened. Smell. There. Okay. Maybe I don't know. It's like what? a little bit of a wall and masks. You're a barking it. spider over there. <laughs> You're like, oh hell, Leo, what's wrong? <laughs> cool. Strauss is like, nobody move. Do it. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, be cool, guy. What? The, wait, aren't you? Wait, what's your name? Strauss. Is is that, that how he says it? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it says what's it. His, what's your name? Strauss. Because that's what I, I, I'm just like. What's what's your name? Okay, it's Strauss. Okay, what what are you doing? You fucked up all of my plans. What are your plans? <sighs> Don't worry about it. We're not going to have that conversation right now. Apparently not. So what? What? What is going on? You want to heal the queen? Like, wh what is your point here? Do you I think, think we give a shit? What do you want? Oh, guys, no. Yeah, we definitely give a shit. No, shut up, Melvin. What? <laughs> 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 you get? Let him do it. Who cares? No, don't do it. I don't think that's a great idea. What? I think you should do it. No, man. What do you want? Your Highness, we're not trying to kill you. What do you want? Because if you were going to kill her, you wouldn't have waited until we walked her. in this front door. Just let him kill her. What do you want from the Bottle Cap Brigade? I won't do a goddamn thing if you kill her right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused right now. Uh, you, uh, this is not the reaction I had anticipated. What were you anticipating? I don't know. You guys would be like upset or scared or something. You told us you had to move. Yeah, and I don't give a and shit. That what suppresses you do. all emotion. Do yeah. You wanna, if you want to kill her, fucking we're not. We have no way to stop you. No, that's not how we, we do. Kill care. She is a friend. Off the roof, if you want. I, I don't just, care if she's my friend. People die every day. People I jumped off the roof and it was day. pretty okay. I don't have any money. I don't have anyone that loves me. No. My family's dead. Fuck the. Let, let her die. Let her die. Oh my god, we're gonna table that. Unless we could table this to talk about that. Um, I mean, if you want to come down here and talk about it, you fucking little schleamy little bitch, come here, and schleamy. then we can talk about it. But if you're gonna kill her, do it. If not, like, I'm I'm very tired. I almost died, like, five minutes ago. Just figure out what you're gonna do and fucking do it. What do you want? Uh, roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. Thanks, Dad. Um, it's really good. Uh, 20. Dirty. 20. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. So, you guys, you guys see 20. this, see Dirty. this moment. 20. Now, uh, Strauss is, uh, I'm pretty sure he's amazing. Me too. I believe you are correct. It is. Yeah. Yep. What's an ASMR? Um, it's an angel man. Mm -hmm. Um. Audio he's, he's 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 like uh, he's like Daryl, but with no scars and muscly. And he also smells like curve uh, curve cologne. 
You uh, smell like curve. I smell like curry. Is? I don't know. It's the same it's for thing. curving bitches. Um, so you, you guys, you guys see no. this moment? Uh, like Strauss is kind of dumbfounded by what has happened. Um, yeah. Do you guys do anything? What? I was making a Jeez. sick ice joke. Uh, uh, Strauss is dumbfounded by this whole interaction. What do you guys do? Is How far away are we? Um, so roll perception. Feet. 17. Cool. Uh, you don't notice anybody. I just, I just say, come on, bud. Let's fucking get this done. I'm, I need a nap. Like, I'm, I'm going to go take a nappy. We're going to figure this out. I don't know what the fuck you want, but, like, either s- say your piece and get fucked or kill her and get fucked. I don't really care whatever you do. Hey, how will we, yeah, how will we be, be di- diplomatic about this? Melvin. What? <laughs> Let the man speak. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> so no, I, I know that. Okay. Talking about him. So yeah, he's he's just, like super confused, and there's this mo- there's a brief moment, and then he just like picks up the queen and like throws her over his shoulder and like turns to her quarters and goes in. I'm the second he picks her up, I'm racing. Me too. Cool. Me too. I, right. I just say, I saw you guys are such a dick. I was just. Where are you going for that? It did buddy? not work. It almost worked. <laughs> almost worked to what? It almost get her kill? To get him to put her the fuck down. If she <laughs> was. If she did the opposite of that. I want to like little brother mush Darrow in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, you stop. <laughs> and then run after the queen. Yeah, I'm cool. also running. Where's Tamari and myself at this moment? Um, so, I, I mean, I think that you guys. Uh, I would say that you guys are probably still outside. Okay. Yeah. Um, and cool. So you guys are chasing after, and, um, I am going to... I want to go invisible. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Um, so... I, I can only do me. Nice. What level to do it? It's just, it's greater invisibility, so oh. it's like a different thing. It's a whole different beast. Um, can you roll initiative for me? Who? Sam? Yeah. Let me use my spell slot, Dungeon Master. Well, roll initiative before. Okay. Don't do it. 13. Cool. Uh, you do that. Okay. And uh, you, you, start, you start to cast it, and uh, you, hear, you hear this um, uh, very odd note as, uh, as you start to speak these words. Um, and, and it's almost as if the, like the, the melody of you speaking, um, is disrupted and, uh, your, the spell ends up being countered. Okay. Um, at what, what, at what level did you cast? Can I counter the counter spell as a reaction? <laughs> if I recognize it happening? Um, this is, uh, this is kind of a special thing because okay. it's not, it's not a counter spell that's countering the spell. Okay. This is, this is a, this is a musical note that negates the note that you're kind of speaking, okay. basically. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it's, it's a very, it's an unnerving sound um, that gets emitted. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you guys hear and Can I tell where it's coming from? <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys all um, look up um, to okay. the roof, and I need you guys to roll uh, constitution saving throws. I got a 13. 26. Cool, 13. Uh, and we're going to turn that into fucking Yes, are there? Um, dope. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, saving throw 13, 13. 26. Um, Roos is not there. Melvin. Nine. Uh, and Joey got a dirty, uh, nat 20. Nice. Damn. 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 Yeah. Cheers. A dirty nat 20. A dirty nat 20. So, the, uh, if you succeeded on the bullshit, uh, 
then you take half 3d8. I don't, um, what does it succeed? Um, succeed is... Oh, fuck. Sorry. Uh, su- succeed is a 16. Oh, I lost. 16 so I hit it. Yeah, I hit it. Yeah, you got... Oh, wait. I got a nine. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn um, it, If I wasn't honest. Um, so, yeah, you take... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so if you failed the roll, you take 13 damage as um, this uh, individual that's standing on the roof casts shatter at your um, on the group as they're going. Uh, Ow! So you have a whole bunch of thunder damage that radiates, or thunder that radiates from this um, position. Inside or outside? Inside. It's inside the room? Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it basically, uh, the, F, uh, the thing was to stop the pursuit. Okay. Wait, um, can I counter that? That? Uh, if you know what's happening, you could. I mean, I can counter any spell as a reaction. Yeah. As a reaction. Or that I can see or that I know what's happening. Like, I can just fucking counter it. Um, yeah. I mean, it's totally, oh, yeah, it's, let's it's go totally your call. I'll, um, I'll read it if you want. Well, it's uh, it's it's a matter of whether... Well, uh, do uh, Let's do this. Let's roll um, roll perception. Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Uh, 18? Good enough for me. So yeah, you you notice this spell is being cast, <laughs> and you do have an opportunity to counter it. Is he within 60 feet? Yes. Okay, then yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, so I just, I cast it at fourth level. And do all of us know that this, well, third level. do we all know that there was a, like an attack on us? Uh, I mean, you definitely know that a spell was attempted to be cast. Okay. I just say... Counter, your counter, even though it's only a somatic spell. Because sure. uh, I'm in denial. Um, and I say, that sprint. thing tried to kill us. I'm full sprint towards the... So, you're, uh, still, you're still sprint... Uh, so, we got two sprinties towards the room. We have Darrow countering this thing. And Jolie is going to uh, chill uh, with Darrow to make it a 2v1 and a 2v1. Uh, while everybody, let's roll initiative! So do we not get hit with that? Uh-uh. 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 Sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> Cat's going last. Fuck. Who knows, maybe some of the bad guys got worse than me. That's dirty true. 20. Hey. Get dirty with it, bitches. 19. Clean one. <laughs> so sorry about it. Nat, uh, nat one. Uh, Darrow and Joe, uh, so that please. Uh-huh. Oh, and Phoenix goes right after the brown yes. South Park. Yeah. Uh, Jolie rolled a motherfucking 14. Cool. Uh, and then Phoenix will take its right there. Watch out. What's your shit? What's your shit? You know what? We'll just okay. Um, Hydrate. Hydrate. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor Hawker. <laughs> and then... What a good fan. Oh, no. Our only, only fan oh, patron. Man. Grab me one if you get one. Well, Thanks, Kat. You're great. Thanks, Kat. Uh, Kat, what'd I you get? I support you. It was a one. I got a, a beautiful... I got a beautiful natural nat one. Oh! <laughs> and then Ruka, stretch. Uh, uh, 19. Cat, Can make you give sure me stretch. one of those, uh, the, the friggin' goddamn, the... Topo blood. Chico's? The vodka sodas? Yeah, that. The. I think. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to stretch. 19. For Thank whatever, you for stretch. I did stretch. For whatever reason, when I get inside this, these green walls. I just stretch my butt cheeks part. Okay. I can't leave this. Cool. This Let's start with uh, what is happening outside since this action is happening um, already. Uh, oh, and oh, 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 uh, we are going. Uh, we are going to start with Darrow. So Darrow, you see this uh, this figure on top, uh, like basically through the whole. Why is there no motherfucking music? I don't like it. Boop. Um, so you see. That sounds like it's going to be good. Um, Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Um, so yeah, you see this figure um, standing uh, about like uh, on the through the hole. the hole. Yes, yeah. through through the hole in the ceiling, staying on the roof, basically overlooking you guys. 
um, and beans. Um, they uh, they they look like a they look like a little ninja, but um, they have a loot on their back. Okay. Cool. Um, and it's like my turn, mm-hmm. and I don't know them. I've never seen you them know. before. Um, roll history for me. Okay, and also I guess uh, it's, uh, do they look like um nineteen uh on living? Um, they they don't appear to be unliving. Okay. No, uh, or, or and yeah, you get it. Um. Uh, nineteen. They look. They they look a little familiar. You can't place it. Okay. Cool. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna. Uh, do. Uh, how big is the hole? Um, I would say I would say the hole is. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, it's about thirty feet. Uh, three feet in diameter. Okay. And but, basically, and and it's not like a perfect circle by any means. Um, it's it's like half the roof is gone. Oh, did they attack from outside? Yes. It went through. Got it. Okay. Um. Well, fuck. That makes it hard. Um. So I just want to cast. Oh, this will do. I guess. I want to cast Wall of Fire in a circle. So I want it to go around the the radius of the the hole. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want it to do damage on the outside of it. So okay. I want it to be like a, a pillar of fire, essentially, around the, the okay. hole. Nice little barrier. Um, yeah. And so I am doing that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use a bonus action to make it. So... You basically, so yeah, you go to cast this wall of fire, and the, uh, as you're starting to kind of like speak the verbal and, and do whatever it is that you do in order to cast your spells, the Punisher logo on your cloak lights up, and I need you to make a constitution saving. Okay. Um, I'm rolling like shit today. Going to scale uh, eight. Cool. Um, so you have this piercing pain in your head as you attempt to cast a spell at this person. Okay. Um, and uh, at this point, um, the pain is so intense that it doesn't cause you to take any damage, but it, it interrupts your spell casting ability at this thing. Sure. Um, um, okay. So, because that was my bonus action, uh, I guess I only have a cantrip left. Uh, okay. So, I am going to. I'm just trying to fucking incapacitate him. So I'm going to cast Mind Sliver on him, knowing that it hurts me to do this. Or okay. like, has the potential to do it. Yeah, yeah. It. Uh, so uh, tell me what Mind Sliver does. So it's an intelligence saving throw. Um, only verbal. Does it, cast. does it cause damage? Uh, kind of, like a small amount. It's 1d6 psychic damage, but um, uh, it takes... <laughs> four blessings. blessings takes one d four away from the next saving throw it makes on its turn. Okay, um, go ahead and uh, roll Constitution save throw as the Punisher logo lights up. Nineteen. Cool. So, uh, so uh, having experienced this pain before, you know that you can fight through it, um, but uh, you feel that if you complete this spell, that there might be further effects. Okay. Okay. So you go ahead and do it. Yep. Cool. Um, uh, let's do a couple of things. What level is that spell? Uh, it's a cantrip. Oh, oh, so, so it's okay. Zero. Okay. Um, yeah, in that case. Uh, so yeah, you take four damage okay. uh, on the casting of the spell. Cool. Um, as as basically this, uh, it, it's psychic. Um, imagine... Uh, uh, imagine Spike in Buffy the Vampire. I just say, oh my god damn it. And <laughs> Melvin, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Fuck you. 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 Fu
we're not friends. we're not this sucks <laughs> Single team. Tell, tell me what uh tell me what mind spike does oh it's uh it just uh it does a wisdom saving throw okay intelligence 12 minus, uh, so it's all 14. It takes 4 damage, okay. psychic damage, and then subtra subtracts a d4 from its next saving throw. Alright, copy that. Um, and hold on, let me look at that. How many damage on the time? 4. Thank you. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this mind spike, like, it, it hits um, this uh, figure, and you see, like, a flinching and uh, and kind of uh, fucking respond in pain. And I just say, sick dick, you fucking nerd. And then I, I, <laughs> I want to use my movement speed to like back up towards my friends and make sure that if he tries to get closer to me, I can like intervene. Okay. Uh, when you say back up towards your friends, uh, do you So mean... they're like running towards the chambers. Yeah, yeah. They're going towards the chambers. So are you are you headed towards the chambers as well? Yeah, Okay. but like... You want to make sure you have line of sight still. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Nope. Uh, sweet, you do that, and uh, Phoenix. Phoenix time. Yeah, I want Phoenix to fly over and try and like eat him straight <laughs> down. Okay, go. let's go ahead and uh, I mean it's plenty close for Phoenix to fly over there, um, even though Phoenix is probably. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll attack. Okay, so the actual thing that happens here, I mean. Uh, rend attacks and then use its breath weapon. It can't really grapple. Okay, I mean, tell me how you would want to uh, mediate this. So it has a multi attack, so it can make uh, two multi two rend attacks, which are relatively solid, and then a breath weapon attack, which is like a energy attack. Okay. Um, could I could I replace like the rend with a grapple and then still use a breath attack? Yeah, if, if you want to, if you want to replace both rends with the grapples, so yeah. Like, and, and okay, so that's what I want to do, but I want to do it like in that Godzilla movie where Godzilla takes the fucking massive monster creature and blows a heat of lightning down uh -huh. its throat. Yeah, that's what I kind of. I want to grapple. Takes its two tiny dragon nails and just like barely gets into the mouth. Yeah, I <laughs> know, uh, but I, I I want to put its entire face into my mouth so it can't talk anymore. Okay. Like, oh, huh. and then use my breath weapon on its head. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, roll for the grapple. Okay. Come on, Phoenix. Oh. oh shit, bitch. Let's go, dude. Damn. What was it? Here and hop over to this. I should not have put these things on two different. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so that will be. Uh, I got a fifteen. Okay, I got a twenty-three. Okay, cool. So, um, so yeah, it successfully grapples uh, this thing, and now you see this uh, freaking figure being held by the dragon. Okay, um, and then I want to do a breath attack on it okay. of a type that is acid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking. I love it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, um, well, I guess po it has to be poison because I assumed it was poison, but I'm yeah. dumping poison into its mouth. Go ahead um, so and, um, it makes a deck saving throw. Okay. Uh, I, I, it's grappled, so it's going to make this saving throw with disadvantage. So many dead dog. Uh, that's okay. going to be a 13. Okay, it fails. So two, six. Six damage? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it it, uh, it sneezes poison on its face. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> it's like it's like the fucking it's like a Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Uh, the it, it can't the, speak common. The so. Phoenix. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Phoenix. And you said oh, six yeah. points. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But like. Yeah. Uh, oh Newman. yeah. Poor Newman. Sweet. All right. Um, let's uh, let's kick it over to Ruka. Uh, oh, actually, did, was Phoenix doing anything else? Uh, no, it's just. <laughs> it's what? Tongue. Um, cool. We're gonna kick it over to Ruka, and uh, yeah, you guys are rushing in. Um, I, I'd say at this point, uh, when we started, you're about there. You have about thirty foot movement speed. Um, we'll, we'll say that 
you did a dash action before the thing started because that's what started the initiative basically um and so you're about 20 feet away from the door yeah i'm getting to the door and then he's gonna it's cool if he punches it open but it's not worth it so he's gonna but he's gonna basically when he rips it and he pulls it i'm assuming the adrenaline is going and he's gonna like i'm gonna try to rip it off i mean edges. yeah if, yeah if you can do it that way if you don't Cool. Try to um, off the hinges. Just strength? Sure. I was such 18. an idiot. I thought it said 21. I was like, 18 oh, no. to just rip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's you the do that because you're a big old elf. Dies. And I've still got Brumple on me too, so he's like, <laughs> and, then, and then just like, it's going to be like the slow steps in, like when the cowboys walk into the saloon in the Western movie. It's like, so so you step 20 it will say 20 feet of your movement to close the distance open the door um, and we're not going to have opening the door be a part of your action Thank so you. you open the thing and you see uh you see strauss uh still has uh, queen Thanks. lariana over his shoulder and he's near a window how far is the window um at this point you are 40 feet 40 feet you say uh, 30. That's, uh, that's 30. 30 feet, better. you say? Do you guys know that Will Smith made $20 million off of Wild Wild West? Do you guys ever see that movie? I've seen it. Did you know that <laughs> Will Smith made $20 million off of Slapping Rich? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably. So much more than that. Go watch Wild Wild West. If you, you won an Oscar for that slap. Yeah, if you haven't seen it in 20 years. Okay, I've heard it's really good. It's fucking awful. <laughs> I don't know what, um, what parts that he is saying are true. What? Wild <laughs> West? Yeah, what is that? Wild, is, Wild oh, West. It's Will the Smith best. did make $20 million off of it. It is fucking... Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to spoil it for it's, you. It's, it's so bad, it's good. Yeah, it's There's a lot of people good. that love that because of how silly it is. And he it's made yep, so much fucking money. Oh, but it was in 1999. Hmm. What did he win an Oscar for? Oh. Um, King Robert? Yeah, King Robert. Sorry. Oh. Robert? Richards? King Richard. Thanks. King Richard. King Dix. Yeah. The Dick King. Because Richard can Richard, Richard also goes by Dick. Dicks. Um, I mean What you want to do, Daddy? You said he's twenty feet away or another thirty he's feet? Thirty feet away. And I've already used twenty feet. So, 20 feet of movement. so basically I, the only way I could get to him is if I dash and then Jump. I can't do anything. That uh, unless you have a bonus action, because dash dash would be your dash would be your action. Uh, do you have Misty Step? Um, no. actually, I do. Huh? You have Misty Step? I think so. Mm-hmm. No, I, got I don't. You, dog. No, I don't. Oh well, fuck. That would be a really fun Misty Step. I think you did. Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, I know. <laughs> fuck. Um. Yeah, and he so the window is so open. So you can use you can use your dash action to get to him, and then you have a bonus action left. Okay, I mean, yeah, my goal is I want to get to him, and <laughs> as a, I can't attack him as a bonus action, though, right? I mean, no. Unless hold on, hold on. Kind of... I might actually give me one second. Sorry, you can sorry, attack sorry. him with your words, though. Um, yeah, yeah you could. sick bitch. <laughs> you fucking actually, I'm going to confusing him worked <laughs> before. You're, I am. I'm going to get to him. Nothing. I, I want to I want to dash to him and then I'm gonna use action surge and Tell him to kill the queen nice. and grapple. Yep. No. Hell or yeah. <clears throat> that would be a great idea. Yeah. This is it worth yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and actually I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him. Grapple so the, the queen. Idea. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna action <laughs> action uh, you're both so, gonna dash pulling to, her. so I'm gonna dash to him <laughs> and then my idea I'm gonna yeah, the idea is to I can't grab can I grab him and throw or is that a gra- is that two things? Um like if my attack is to throw him to the ground, is that a grapple? And then the attack is to the are, ground. Are, are, through this process, That's are you basically just like let it? Because I because I, I would say too that um, uh, you know if oh I'm dropping Frumple as yeah. soon as I see him at the window. Okay, cool. So you so, so as soon as as soon as I see him at the window, I think it's like here, and he is taking off with the idea. Oh shit! Do you what just want that? to check him off of her? You could just check him. No, because. Like, like hockey style. I, I think I want to because he's gonna go out the you window. Could punch her. He's gonna go out the, the window. <laughs> 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 he's gonna go out the window. So I want to grab, grab here her. and throw back grab into the room. Her hit him. 
<gasps> like a diehard situation. Yeah. I, no, I think I think the goal Sorry. I think the goal is just to because the he's going so towards the window. Life. Like it's not like they're outside, like hard? standing in an open window. My goal: he's gonna grab him by Bunch the back and then throw him back into the room. Bunch of oh, guys. you see, I mean, he's not like running away. Like he's throw the he's sheet over. Basically me. here <laughs> at the window. He's pitching a tent. Okay. So, 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 so you want so best joke I've ever action told. surge? You dash to him as your as your new. You have an action and a bonus action left. Looks you're like going to grapple him guys. and throw him to the bubble buff. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Cool. Uh, and and since it's another action, I have two attacks I can do, and so can I grapple? Well, uh, grapple would be considered an action. Cool. An so I have, and I have two attacks per. Act. Oh. Basically, anytime you have a multi-attack, it means if you take the attack action, then you can attack again. But if you're not taking the attack action, yeah, you have- yeah, I'm trying to throw him back into the room. So okay, so um. Let's go ahead and have a grapple challenge. It's a grapple challenge. Oh, wait. Scrapple challenge and drinking lemonade. One second. You'll probably be Scrapple challenge because this dice roll was low. My favorite song. Cool. Yeah. It's just a strength roll. Ooh, that's is it a saving throw or normal? Uh, it's just it's just flat strength. Cool. Well, I naturally yeah, I rolled an eighteen. Yeah. You should be good. Yeah. So, so, yeah, you, uh, so you get there. So it's a dirty twenty. Yeah. So you uh, so you grab him and you want to throw him back into the room. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, so so uh, yeah, you grab him and you basically you throw him back on into the center of this room. Um, he drops the queen. Cool. I'm standing with. I'm. Oh, he's not prone. Well, I mean, yeah, you threw him. Into- Hold on one second, because if I'm not mistaken, he's yawning. You startled. <laughs> I would be further, but most of my people that I have on Facebook are like, like I don't even know them. Most, like, yeah, that's fine. I'll know. just leave it there. And then when I'm done, um, yeah, when I'm when I'm done throwing him in, I'm gonna stand with basically my heels at Queen Lariana, and then he's gonna do his like twists his right foot. That he does whenever it's like ready to fight, and he's gonna slam his fists together one time and stand there, or stand the gauntlets together. Dope. And shove Dope. his little sho- shove his, his snoot little, straight out. A little just, little snoot time. Just a little up though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Cool. And uh, oh, sorry. and as he says it, the queen is gonna be like, "You're not going anywhere." Ooh. All right. <laughs> So, uh, so Strauss uh, uses half of his movement speed to get up, um, and then uh, he has this great sword. And let's party! So party. Do, 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 do. Got me. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so it's uh, uh, Strauss is going to make two attacks at you. Uh, with his greatsword. Has that cool. affected the way you write? Or are you left handed? Um, the first one is uh, a seven. Uh, and that's just my normal AC. That's right? just, it, that will not hit. Doesn't hit. No freaking way. No, it wouldn't hit me. But the next one is a uh, 21. Cool, and I'm casting shield. Okay. Um, plus five. Pure mm-hmm. AC. Oh, actually, it doesn't help because it puts me at twenty, so I won't cast it. I'll just eat it. Okay, cool. So, um, so yeah, he he swings at you with this with this great sword, and uh, you're going to take uh, not much uh, six slashing damage. Uh, Ow! She swings at you. Fucking BB. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you take it with like <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh and then as uh yeah as you're doing oh, wait, I can't do it, so that's all I can do. <laughs> you're so imposing with the laugh and it's like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's kind of all of Ruka. He's like, I'm the baddest, but I like brownies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you like that. Uh, yeah, so as, as you're, um, he is going to divine smite you as a bonus action. Oh, is he a paladin? We're friends. 
Oh, yeah, and uh, that uh, deals another eight damage. What is Divine oh, yeah. Smite? It's a, it's a radiant. So basically, after he sw- he swings and oh, goes, since I got hit, I get hit again. Well, uh, Divine Smite is as a bonus action. Paladin can expend a slot to cause its melee attack, uh, melee weapon attacks to magically deal an extra two okay. d eight radiant. Got damage. it. Um, and what did you say? I took another eight. Yep. I have Divine okay. Smite anymore because I'm not a level 11. Oh. Above the first. Uh, and you're not an undead or a fiend, so that doesn't matter. Cool. Um, sweet. Oh, oh that's a little extra punch. So this is... Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited for this <laughs> fucking noodle fight. Um, and now, I, uh, that's going to be Strauss's turn, and we're going to head over to Jolie. Who's outside? Uh, Daryl, what's your HP? Uh, uh, 62. Uh, he, he's hurt. No, I'm not. Are you hurt? You're not hurt? No. Okay, cool. Jolie's going to heal herself? Oh, I guess four oh. points. <laughs> eh, that's a- Knew it. That's not enough for Jolie to give a shit Knew about you. Um, but Jolie has taken some damage. So before she does a thing, she's just going to cast Cure Wounds on herself for 1d8 plus 7. Which is going to be 10 points of damage. Um, and then she's uh, going to join everybody, um, uh, basically follow you. Okay, she's like Chilling. pulling up the rears. Pulling up those rears. Mm-hmm. All right, now it is this figure's turn. So the first thing it's going to do is try to... Good luck, bitch. <laughs> Great grapple. And that would take its action if it tries to break a grapple. Mm-hmm. And it can't talk because its head is in Phoenix's mouth. Counter spell is the only somatic spell, like ever. Like, I don't know much about spell casting, to be honest. Shape water is somatic. Why don't I have Divine Smite? You should take that. That's a good one. It's just like a bonus action, and you get to add some fucking damage. I feel like I have, like, as a bonus action, I have... Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, I just didn't scroll down. Nah. Because the book was like, you should definitely have it. And I was like, well, why don't I? I think it's just like included. Hmm. Like, you can't not have it as a bonus. Okay, cool. Bitchin! Uh, So, wait, what were you saying about the... About spellcasting? Yeah, like can't cast any spells because <laughs> its head is in my dragon. Couldn't it just cast the spell from inside your dragon's head? I mean... Not at, at anything. Uh, basically, it could cast a spell at the dragon, right? You're the DM, but I would assume if my head is inside of a dragon covered in acid or poison... And well, all it did was just... It, I mean, it did... I would have a hard time attack. making noise out of my mouth. So, I you do without what you will... But I would assume it would be both quiet and clamped inside of a dragon's head. So I don't know if personally I would be able to talk very well. But still, you're the DM, and I, I, would, I pass no judgment on you. I would say <laughs> that in the event that that the dragon's mouth was closed so hard on this person's head that the head would be severed entirely. Fair, fair. Uh, which would also, I mean, that's not really a thing that the dragon can do, according to its whatever. Sure. Um, I would say that the only thing, I mean, it's going to attempt to cast a spell at the dragon. Sure. Um, so this is... Dara is going to counter spell this. Fetus deletus. Yeah. If it, if it knows it's getting a, a spell cast on it, he's going to, and has line of sight, which I guarantee. This. You definitely have line of sight. Um... But also, it's inside the head of your dragon. Yeah, yeah, and uh, counterspell is kind of like wonky. It's your call again. Um, creature in the process of casting a spell is all it says. You attempt to interrupt a creature in the process of casting a spell. I think the easiest thing to do here would is it's just going to try to break another the grapple. Pers- yeah. It's just going to try to break the grapple. In. So, um, isn't cool. Is going to try to slip on out. 
um, which is going to be not great. I mean, I, no, I'll be no. 20. Um, and sweet. So it does not b- break the grapple. Um, and I think that will be its turn. Let's go to... Uh, we're going to Melvin. Okay. And then uh, Darrow's on deck. I'm running up behind Ruka mm-hmm. as he like, like I dodge the door as he like throws it back. And then um, as he goes up to that guy, I want to run up to the queen and make sure that she's okay. Cool. Yeah, you do that. Um, and uh, whenever you get up to the queen, do a quick medicine check for me. Oh boy. Oh, beans. That's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see what my medicine though is. Uh, fourteen. Cool. Um, yeah, you you re- you notice that she's unconscious but stable. Okay. Um, she's okay. She's just knocked out. Okay. Um, and yeah. Um, I pit. What? Are we on the ground floor? Not really. No. You're about you're about twenty feet off of the ground. But because like you went up some stairs, like it's yeah. it's kind of a raised thing. So if you were to like jump out the window. Uh, it's it's about fifteen feet. About fifteen feet. Up. Where are we okay. in? Where did the fight happen in? So if I was standing, like Queen chamber. Lariana was like right behind me. No, no, because if you if you threw her, yeah, he, I he, threw him. Right, but and like, then I have... and then I stood in front of her because you said he dropped her. Well, yeah, but he dropped her as he was flying. It, it's not like like she just fell. Right there, as you hmm. threw. So, so, I, so, so you, you, you. Where is she him. in regards to me? She, she's base. She's actually, she's closer to Strauss than you. Oh, okay. Even though he attacked me. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Now. I guess, was, I guess that's what I'm confused. Now, about. now because when I threw it, you, I thought you said he dropped her, and well, so he I did, stood in front of her in between you, me if and him. You were him. holding a baby, and I threw you. Yeah. You wouldn't drop the baby where from where I was. You'd like you'd sure. fall and, and that's basically what happened. So he drops so so the she baby. was like in between the two of us. He drops the queen. Uh, she uh, he fell. He gets up, comes to you. Queen's like ba- kind so, of so. So he and I are here, and the queen is behind Strauss. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Cool. 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 I'm just making sure. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go up to the queen, and then I'm gonna go look up at Ruka and be like, I'm just gonna get her out of here. Um, and then I want to cast. I got this. I want to cast um, enhance ability on myself for Cat's Grace, and then I want to jump out the window with her. Okay. Cool. Um, I would say that doing this would cause an attack of opportunity from Strauss. He's facing away from her, though. What do you know? Well, but but you're basically but you're standing between if you're standing between Strauss and the window. Yeah. And she's running to the window. No, because you said that the queen is behind her. Behind Strauss. Like yeah, cats but Cat's queen. trying to jump out I'm the window. I'm still leaving his... Oh, leg. you're leaving the window? Yeah, I'm getting, oh, I'm I'm getting out I'm getting out of this place altogether. Right. So I'm trying to get out the window. Okay, yes. cool. Um, so, so, um, I mean, you're tanky. It's just... It's, oh, that's I don't such have a armor good, on. And that's such I'm a good. good fucking... Oh, can I, like, bring cool out my shield to, body. like, get yeah. into the... I'm, like, we're gonna, like, pick her up, bring out my shield, and then, like, try and barrel through the thing. Yeah, so that's fine. Now I have my shield equipped. This is a barrel roll. Strauss is also a tank. Mm-hmm. So you guys, you guys, it's tank on tank action. That's why it's a new fight. Tank on tank on tank. Um, so Strauss rolled a boop, 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 um, uh, 24 to hit. Damn it. Yeah, that's going to fucking hit me. Mm-hmm. Fucking bitch. Sorry, that's <laughs> me, Cat. Melvin would never say that. <laughs> uh, and that will be 13 slashing damage. Um, and that's it. Okay. No extra oh, sir! <laughs> I'm gonna like take her and still jump out the window. No, <gasps> he's so mad. Um, <laughs> I say get over, get like, over. Like, <laughs> like, I'm gonna can realize as, like, they're Darth Vader. <laughs> as a passive, as he hits me, and as I pass him, I just want to be like, I never liked being an unliving. I was, I didn't like being. I was, I was playing the whole time in your stupid club. Bye. <laughs> and then turn and jump out. Uh, he. he He's confused. I can see the pain in his eyes. Thought so. He's confused. He's confused. Who are you? Um, <laughs> your most loyal subjects, top of my class. Uh, Everyone loved me. So <laughs> let's. Uh, so uh, Rusta, you and Tamari come in the castle mm-hmm. doors, and you see um, this 
At this point, you see only uh, Darrow and Jolie kind of backing toward um, the, Door. the Queen's Chambers, mm-hmm. and uh, both of them are looking up towards the hole in the ceiling. Okay. And do I see, like, the dragon grappling with something? You can't see from this angle because... Because the way it's changed. Yeah, it's so you, you see ceiling, hole, you can't see what's... Them looking up. Right. You only see them looking up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I'm going to run and be like, what's going on? Uh, the, my dragon is eating uh, someone, and I don't know who it is. What the f- fuck are you doing, Dare Rounds? <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Are they good? Bad? I think they're, Ugly? I think they're kind of a piece of shit. Right. They they made my life a little bit harder, so uh, I decided to not let them enjoy their life. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're about to find out, so don't be a fucking prissy about it, okay? Um, and I think uh, Rusa and Melvin are off uh, finger banging each other <laughs> with Queen Lori. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the Queen? Oh, I don't know. She seemed uh, so. There was this guy, and he said he was going to kill Queen Lariana. And I was like, "Fucking do it, then, you pussy." Uh, not that there's anything. Pussies are stronger than dicks, whatever. But um, also back the blue. And uh, Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, tomorrow's right behind Rusa. He's like, uh, Darrow, what you said is very problematic. I know, I, I understand. Not that, okay, but I'm in character right now. So, anyway, <laughs> too uh, far deep, man. <laughs> we have we have full we'll Um, yeah, uh, he didn't, he didn't wind up killing her, even though I told him to, hmm. uh, because I called his bluff, and then he ran away. And I, there's been some commotion in there, but I've been making sure to protect them. While I grapple some asshole that counterspelled me <laughs> with my dragon. Some asshole. <laughs> so, I'm hugging a lot of asshole. Right? They're gonna this, they're gonna come to Treefort next. <laughs> yeah, hugging a lot of asshole. This is a, there's a, a lot going on here. Um, I know it's a, a busy scene. If you would just like help me, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell my dragon to do some shit. Just make sure you're ready to grapple the guy that comes down here. He's gonna come down here in just a second. Okay, just like get ready. Oh. Just do, do pounce. Do your weird pouncy shit when this guy gets down. First time for everything. Okay. Mariana, help the queen. I'm on it. <laughs> she she runs uh, and is like looking up uh, and she she turns to say, okay. that's Lupin. He's a bard. Dead. That's it. Is he good, Tamari? Is he a good bard? I don't know. <laughs> God damn it. Too nervous to think about you. Obviously, he's not. If he's attacking us, he must be in league with Strauss. Shut up, Tamari. Go on. <laughs> she goes uh, and she goes into the thing. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go position myself next to him and draw my bow. Shoot a little bit boop at the boop boop. Yeah. Um, is it? Is that even? Possible for me right now with the, all the grappling going on. I, don't, I mean, you I don't. Can, I mean, you, you see, you can see Lupin, mm-hmm. um, and you could absolutely shoot him. It might end up hurting some dragon. Okay, but dragon, you know how I yeah. care for my constructs. <laughs> I <laughs> deeply. <laughs> it's a deep, deep love. Yeah, um, all very right. touchy about. Uh. Yeah, I guess I will position myself next to Darrow and Jolie and take a crack. Take some yeah. crack. I'm gonna heat up a little glass pipe and smoke it. So you smoke, smoke crack. Yeah. Crack is not okay, kids. No, don't. Act, yeah, don't. Kids, unless don't you, fucking it, do crack. Unless you only do it once on accident off of some tinfoil. How is that on accident? I'm sorry, my nostril fell on this crack cocaine. You don't, you don't have, you just smoke it through your mouth, cat. Oh. <laughs> <A, B. laughs> Would I have advantage on this because of a uh, uh, on being grappled? I believe so. Yep. That sounds right. Cool, because I need. And if we fucked it up, sorry. Um, seventeen. 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 That uh, does not hit. So, I'm going to hit Venus. Um, uh, actually, I don't know. If you... Oh, damn it. I just missed it all. Um, it's, it's cool. Yeah, I think I, I, I think you're aiming, but then but then you 
she Straight just up. kept thinking about Darrow saying grappling some ass and mm -hmm. like uh, as you're kind of giggling about that you let the what arrow can I go do later <laughs> you act, yeah you don't it's a 19 you see so it hits uh, I I will say it does hit Phoenix but mm -hmm. it doesn't penetrate his scaly hide yeah <laughs> A tough asshole. Oh, this is so awful. real Scale. tough asshole grappling. Cool. Um, yeah, Tamari uh, uses her uh, shit to go into the uh, chambers, um, and uh, that's it. So let's go to Darrow. Okay, uh, Darrow just says to Phoenix, like Phoenix, you know what to do. We've been here before. You know exactly what you need to do. Um, still my favorite. Uh, Lupin's face is tickled. Okay, cool. Hello. Still my favorite. Um, and I would like to. I like that, how far away is the room where I think Tamari is? And like where they're. Oh, right you at? guys are like twenty feet away. Okay, cool. I just like to saunter in there, um, and uh, kind of like creak open the door, and it is gone. Oh yeah. Okay. So I saunter in there and I step on the door and I want to look over at um, Leon. And uh, who? how far? Or what's his name? Who? Strauss. 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 Leon. Leon Bridges. Did I just make that up? Yeah. Okay. Loop. There's Lupin. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's I, Lupin and Strauss. I get confused with names. Um, I'd like to cast um, Crown of Madness on him. Okay. So he makes a good wisdom saving. Crown of Madness does not cause damage. Nope. Um, yeah, so you, you, you start to cast this, and uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw? Yep. Cool. Um, and... Because I'm pulling information from all sorts of sources. Go. Looking up a rule? Kind of. Drink. Um, that will be a boop, 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 boop. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, then nothing happens. And I just say, you better watch your shit, Ruka. It's all you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I care to do right now. Um. In nice. this situation. Uh Phoenix time. Yeah, I want Phoenix to roll off the roof, but going to aiming to land face down. Okay. So like I, I my like a giant pile so, driver. So, my goal so here is to cripple from the knees up. The so very specific creature that's <laughs> with those feet and ankles will be okay. <laughs> Regardless of the amount of damage that Phoenix takes as a result Total of the body will be on first. the ground while the feet scoot okay. away. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and do a dexterity, uh, or, yeah, let's do acrobatics from Phoenix. I think this is an awesome idea. 11. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it attempts to do this, and, um, uh, it does not... Even if it lands on its side and the whipping action of its head hitting the ground as a result of, like, the, the location of the impact <laughs> fucking shuttles... The creature inside of its mouth onto the ground, that's acceptable. How uh, how much does Phoenix weigh? A shitload. He's a large creature. He's a very large. So he's probably like a couple thousand pounds. Okay. I mean, he's not a light boy. Thing one, other this. <laughs> one other thing. One other thing. Cool. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. Phoenix, um, with mouth over the head... Uh, fucking just falls face forward into the thing. Um, and basically what happens is uh, it does not do the thing that you were trying to do. I want this paralysis. to be not lethal regardless. I don't want to kill this thing. It doesn't, it can't control itself when mm -hmm. it's falling. Um, and basically what happens is the moment it hits the Sorry. ground, the fingernails like go up into uh, Lupin's body. The, 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 the dracon, because it's Right, holding it like this, the claws. Sure. So, and then uh, it hits its jaw on the floor and just severs its head. 
He's a... <laughs> shit. And so it's not uh, lethal. So oh. it's still just like sitting there okay. um, with the things. <laughs> Jolie, cast revivify. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, the head would just stay in its mouth, right? Is Phoenix it's alive all right still? there. I mean, I, I, I mean, Phoenix will take a little bit of damage. A little fall. bit? How how far of a fall it's is like that? 30 feet. Okay. That? I mean, yeah. Um, I, I mean, if I can just for, for the fuck of it, it yeah. It, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it takes three damage from okay, the fall because it doesn't bother. penetrate its high. Um, cool. And <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's Jolie's turn. She's like, y'all, what do I do? Just. Yeah, y'all want me to, to revivify him? Should we, yeah, should we, should we, put his head back on. Oh, okay, okay. And she goes over and she's like, Venus, get out of the way. Um, and get that out of your teeth. Uh, Venus, like. Takes like a big so she, she, puts, she puts this body back together and revivifies um, <laughs> fucking Lupin. Um, and. Do it. Okay, cool. Uh, and yeah, you see, you see this like uh, <laughs> a bunch of kids um, just start patting this fucking uh, demolished corpse uh, back together. Uh, the, the holy <laughs> magic is like uh, bringing the 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 neck, um, you know, it, it, um, connecting all the skin and the muscles there. What what's happening? It says it can't restore any missing body parts. Oh, dope! Thank you for doing that. Cool. Well, it's not missing. Right there. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's just, I, 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 I do together. think I, I think I, I do think you're right though. In the head. event, it right. can put a head together. Mm-hmm. If the arm was gone, yeah, the, or something, then. But Re- because everything was right five. there, that's she's able true. to do the thing. And it's all coming back together, and uh, uh, Lupin hilarious. is unconscious as fuck. His head's on the other. I way. just say, good job, Phoenix. We got it. <laughs> yep, take a breather, buddy. <laughs> Uh, and then I just, I want him to, like, come in and, and kind of, uh, like, loom over me looking at the the guy. That's, okay. So you guys are headed the into the, the yeah the chambers? Yep. Okay. You guys all head into the chamber. Yeah, everyone says. Good to go as long as you have the head. <laughs> See, that's so, a, that was a big discussion in a lot of threads. <laughs> Can you... <laughs> You save a decapitated um, person. So you guys, Jeez. you guys are all in the thing, and now Strauss is surrounded by all you guys. Um, and <laughs> that uh, actually, it's uh, Ruka's turn. Uh, Ruka is going like because he sees everybody there, and I think he's going to do his his feet turn again because he's he's feeling that there's like a crowd around him mm-hmm. as there's like a circular fight, and he's going to take a couple steps in. He's going to turn his feet. He's going to punch his hand into the ground. And as soon as it hits the ground, it's going to light up. And it's going to kind of glow with this sort of blue and white light. As as he punches it, his trunk is going to go straight. And then when he lifts his head up, it's pointing directly at Strauss. And he's going to come here and he's going to touch his t- uh, finger on the t- bottom of Strauss. And like flick and cast Ray of Frost out of his trunk. I say sick light show you. Nerd. Thanks, <laughs> uh, so constitution saving throw okay. from Strauss. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. I'd say spell attack. I lied to you. I'm going to cast lucky. I'm going to do lucky and do that again. Uh, 22. Cool. That will hit. Okay. So you take... Um, It is 2... D8. Let me double check. Yeah, so it's 2D8 uh, ice damage. I want that one and I want this one. So that is 16. Okay. Wow. Uh, and then since uh, I have an Eldritch I have an Eldritch thing here. You take 16 uh, cold damage. And then what's it called? Just making sure um uh, because I have war magic, um, I can use my action to cast a cantrip, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to do an attack with my gauntlets. Okay. And so that is just a melee attack with the gauntlets. 
So I think it's just uh, I'm doing this correctly. Actions. So that's just a normal roll, right? Plus my modifier for right. Yeah, just just make an attack like anywhere between like uh, seventeen to cool. hit. That will not hit. Okay. So yeah, you go. Uh, and do I this think, thing. and then when he comes up, he's it's gonna run, and he's gonna like fake one here, and then try to uppercut him there. And he, um, he yeah, I say, uh, I'm seeing Strauss like kind of be like uh, pushed back a little bit by this ray of frost, and then you're coming in, um, and just in the nick of time, he dodges your uppercut. Um, and now, uh, do you have anything else? No, that's it. Cool. Uh, we're going to, uh, Strauss's turn. Oh, I did the wrong one. I should have done, I should have done this one. It's okay. I did the wrong one. So yeah, Strauss is seeing everybody around him and. <laughs> and, uh. So and Strauss is um, basically going. Uh, he's just going to charge um, at the window. Cool. So I need you to make an attack of opportunity. Um. He's going after the queen and me, your favorite boy. So what does that mean? It's just a normal attack. I'm eleven. Okay, that won't hit. And I'm gonna, uh, as he does that. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, his. His speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn because okay. of Ray of Frost. Uh, he, sh he should be in with him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to cast... Um, I think I just have to... Do you have a thing that you can do? As a reaction. Okay, so you're saying once he gets to the window... Yeah, I, I, I want to hit him with Featherfall. So he, um, it just uh, his rate of descent slows to sixty feet per round. I mean, what's typical? Okay, uh, very question, fast. I mean, what thirty is, feet per second is terminal velocity for a human being. Right. So. Let's do. Uh, is that all that the fall says? Yeah. It has nothing to do with whether or not he wants to or not. No. Okay. Yeah, just I can do that. Okay, cool. Well, so he jumps he jumps out of the window. Is he making an ability check for anything? No. No. Because he's because he's basically I mean he's running out of a window. Okay. I'm the only one will be right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um and then you start to cast Featherfall. And so he uh my my biggest question he doesn't have a long waist at all. I mean we're talking like twenty feet. Sure. So if it's I'm trying so, to slow so if it's down. and he's he, he's now sixty feet per second. 60 feet per round. Per round, which is um, six, six seconds. Six seconds. So, uh, which would mean that it's mm -hmm. 10 feet per, per second. second. So it's going to take two seconds now for him to hit the ground. Mm -hmm. so Instead he's, of... He's falling at that rate. And then once he passes us, combat has ended. So then well, the turn mm -hmm. goes again, right? So anybody can attack? You know, it, 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 it gets a little muddied. Mm -hmm. um, we'll say that... So that that slows it, and with each round taking six seconds, this is. I mean, I've taken away the rest of his movement for the turn. For sure, like essentially, yeah. is what I could see that doing. Yeah. So then everybody else has turns before he. So he's so he is land he is currently that. yeah he's out of the window, he's on the ground, and that's because, the end of his turn essentially, right? Um, unless. He has an action he would like to do that. Yeah. So you didn't cast Featherfall? No, I did. But it, it, it slows it to the rate that would just like, like you could land and run. <coughs> you could just like Rubless. land <coughs> a couple steps, right? So all that that's going to do is give us time to catch up. To catch up. Mm -hmm. Because once he passes us, it slows his fall. So we can all go to the window. And then is it like another initiative roll then? No, no. Or, the, the initiative order would stay the same, but you could like sprint out and get in front of him. Cool. Um, he's he's just gonna cast bless on himself. Cool. 
Um, then... <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> uh, so that was Strauss's turn. We're going to go to Joe Lee. Um, uh, yeah, Stouts. Joe Lee has dominate person, yep. possibly. Dominate doesn't person she have, doesn't she have dominant. the one that can um, stop people? Like, doesn't she have the muck? What, what's that thing called? Where she shoots like the 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 slippery stuff. Grease. Oh yeah. Does she have grease? Jolie does not think. dominate person. Does she have Ugh. grease? Uh, she might have changed out her spells. Uh, she she might have, or she might have changed it but not updated it here. Yeah. What level is Jolie on there? Uh, she's level ten. Hey. But she has a lot of very healy stuff. Yeah. Does she have anything that can yeah. stop movement? So I think I think what Jolie would do because I do believe that she has a crossbow that she never. Well, are those those her known or her prepared spells? Because I it's it's whenever I go to the spells tab. Yeah, it's all that she has listed on D D D on. Um, you know what what might be more as a cleric? You know, she usually just plays off her cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. So she's gonna go to the window, and uh, she's gonna look down. She sees Strauss like right there. And she's going to cast Guardian of Faith. Oh, uh, there, you go. there it is. Um, and so uh, you guys see her kind of doing the uh, her, her, her uh, little foxy magic thing. Oh, wait. With his speed, after it was reduced by 10, does that do anything? Mm-hmm. No. Because, okay. I mean, it, regardless of what movement speed you okay. have, it falls slower. Yeah. Unless it's Feather Folly. Okay. He's down at the bottom. Uh, uh, Joe Lee cast Guardian of Faith, and this giant fox spirit, Dope. you know, pops up right next to him. Um, when you creature has to move space within ten feet of the guardian for the first time on a turn, must succeed. Saving throw. Um, I'll just make it to where he has to make the deck saving throw right now. Um, which I mean, there's I'm very surprised. I think it's fifteen. Um, I think, oh, thirteen. Which it's a dinosaur. You're a dinosaur. It's a compliment. Yeah, no, they're great. Uh, yeah, that fails. So it's uh, so he's going to take another uh, twenty radiant damage. Compliment. I am a dinosaur. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's Julie's turn, and let's uh go over to Lupin. Well, actually, uh, Lupin's unconscious. I I already did a thing for Lupin, so it was it was a little out of turn. Um, technically, Jolie was kind of out of turn too because I revivified Lupin, mm-hmm. so that was an accident. But but if you revivified him, then you make a death saving roll because he's unconscious. No no no, it's it's right. No no, no I mean no. he would have been dead. No, this is Jolie stabilized. Yeah, Ju- Ju- uh, Jolie oh, stabilized because he would have been dead. Yeah, but Jolie got it. Cool. Um, and then. All right, so let's go to since Julie Chrissy accidentally did twice. Uh, Melvin, yay! Melvin and Marusa, you're on deck. Ooh, um, so I have the queen. I just jumped out the window. Um, remember? Yeah. Uh, so now you and Strauss are just like, oh hey. Is it fair that if I saw him feather falling from the top, like I'd have like a little bit of time before he hit the ground? I mean, I mean he can't really do anything to you anyway. Yeah, it's not like. If you were Except to, for an if you were to area flee, of you'd have you have an attack of opportunity, which really ba- ba- basic yeah basic well. But I jumped out the window well before he even like I would be on the ground. And would you have had extra it's movement all speed? Like, I think so. It would have had like at least five feet of extra movement. Yeah. Well, if I jumped yeah. out the window, like technically a round all happens. All that happens in one round is within like six seconds. So. That's true. In a way, things are happening like yeah somewhat simultaneously. Yeah. Like it's not. Yeah. Now we're sitting here talking about it for a while, right? But it's not actually happening in that uh, rate. So, so you do see Strauss. Um, we'll say that you know, yeah, you're you're able to move. You're five feet away from him. You can okay. move without getting an attack of opportunity on you, even though it. You're a tanky baby. I'm a tanky baby. Yeah. I he, still he's a tanky baby. I still have my shield out because um, I'm using it and like holding her, yeah. um, which is like nothing because my muscles are so big. Um, and I think I'm going to, is the queen like 
should I try and revive her? Would she fight with us, or is she like not a good person? Yeah, I think the she's queen fairly privileged. Okay. I would. I so would. So you like her? Get out! Uh, of here. <laughs> get out of here with that! No way! I would. I would save her. Yeah. Um, I don't worry. There's a massive guardian and four other people that can attack, but I think only two people that can save anybody. Oh, I'll cast and you're fireball. fireball. If you um, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to run as far as I can away. I'm going to try and just go back up around okay. the back through the front door. Yeah, back through the front door. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try and. Oh, wait, you have the queen. You're trying to escape. Yeah, I have the queen. Uh, I'm gonna try and go to Is where. It worth I... a... so be... Oh, yeah, we can actually showcase this a little bit. So is it worth leaving. escaping or just staying there? Because everybody else, is, all the bad guys are leaving. Yeah, but Stroud, like the big bad guy, is like right on top of me. No, he's out. No, no, no. no he's outside he's the window. Right in the same like spot. we just said, yeah. Oh, you both jumped out the window. Yeah, I jumped out the window. Long, yeah, got it. Um, I guess like, can I tell where there are more guards to help me? Because there are can, guards around, right? If um, you're in the, the realm, last, the last place that you remember seeing guards is like. God damn it. If she's in the realm, or if she's in the area of the Guardian, mm-hmm. can he attack her and the Guardian? Like, wouldn't the Guardian get an attack of opportunity if it goes to attack, or no? The, the Guardian has its own specific yeah. things. Yeah. Um, um, I think I'm just going to run away from Strauss uh, and cast um, Lay on Hands to... Our queenie. Okay. Or can I do a medicine check first and then do a lay on hands? Uh, well, you did do a medicine check already. Oh, okay. and, and you know that she's she's unconscious, but she's stable. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna give her like 20 hit points. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll yeah. give her 20 hit points. Yeah, you... Uh, nope. so can you describe how your holy magic works? Yeah, I think um, I'm like holding her and like I've got the shield and I'm running away, but like... I've kind of like got the shield right here, and then I'm holding her Mar- Mary style, <laughs> and uh, Creepy. I'm I'm just kind of like like I'm, I'm running away, <laughs> and I'm like uh, please wake up, and then I just my hands kind of glow like touching her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you uh, she feels warmer than she did before. Did she not wake up? No. Ah, fuck. Um, but but you run away. You're basically you're. Uh, wait. Yeah. Okay, so I have. So you're going that way. Yeah, I have. Cool. Uh, how much speed do I got? I've got forty speed. Hey, oh, damn. that's a lot of speed. That is. All right, so you go further. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and now we're going to Rusta and Tamari. Well, Rusta. Go. Yeah. Um. So if I were to jump out the window, Wait, what about me? Uh, Rusta is before. Could I do like a jump down attack out of the air from the window? So dope. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. dope. I was gonna do the same you thing. Got, uh, what, what kind of what kind of movement you got? I have thirty. That'll do it. Yeah. Cool. So, so so you you have enough to get to the window and then you jump out and yeah you can yeah. do the thing. Can't wait. Let's roll some attack. <clears throat> okay. And then is this a chance? A sneak attack. Is he, o- is he occupied or aware that like we're probably going to be chasing him? He's he's aware as fuck. Yeah, cool. So not a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. He's anticipating. Shit. I only am gonna hit. Um, I got an eleven. So yeah, yeah. You you jump out the window and you're and it looks epic as fuck. You're coming down. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use a bonus action to make yeah. that one d four melee attack. Okay. Get so it. I'm gonna miss the first one. <laughs> miss the second one. Okay. Take a drink because I rolled the same thing. Hey! What is happening tonight? The laws of statistics has just uh, completely left the building. We need Jolie with her fucking bless, man. Oh, I know. Um, like, do I not have bless? I don't have bless. I guess but, I kind of uh, like I Strauss does. jump out of Strauss the window. Does. And I kind of stumble and I'm like, shit. Just kind of wildly <laughs> swing <laughs> as I walk. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's just kind of like bobbing and weaving out of your out of your flails. Um, so just like here I come. Um, 
Okay. All well, right. So that's all I can do. Yeah, I think uh, I think tomorrow's gonna do the same. She's gonna she's gonna go because uh, the queen. Old Dark see. Souls yeah. lunge out the window. Because I don't believe that Tamari would have known that the, that Melvin had the queen because Tamari got there later. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, either. she's she, yeah she's just gonna jump out and make an attack. That will probably hit. Yes. Way to make up for oh yeah, big ass big ass twenty six on that roll, nice. and she gets a couple of them. Uh, that one won't hit. Um, and she's going to do some fast shit. Um, yeah, there's that to Okay, so she's going to do some damage. Paladin fights. Cool. There's seven. Is she a paladin too? Mm. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Six is thirteen. So uh, yeah, she's she's coming down, and with her, you know, uh, divine smite, she's swinging at Strauss. Uh, he takes thirteen more damage. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I have a, she said, "Okay." She's like, "I'm tired of all of this bullshit." Whoa! We just got raided. <laughs> Oh How shit! Did you get raided? Raided? What's up, Lord Longcock? What's up, you guys? Hey. Thanks for the raid, friend. Hey. Thanks for the raid. Hi. Do you want to hear about? Let's do this. Blood. Blood blam. Sorry, there's too many that I could choose from. Hydrate, y'all. We're doing butthole stuff, anyways. Jesus. Um, that was Tamari Darrow. Let's get hot with Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Uh, Cheers. Real easy. Uh, I'm just gonna. So Darrow's gonna walk up to the window, mm -hmm. cast Wall of Fire in an arc around Tamari and Ruzda and the guy and uh, make it so if any of them, if any of them try to leave, uh, they get fire damage, but not so much that they get fire damage just by existing in that okay. space. Cool. Um, yeah, and then he's just going to yell down and he's going to say, you guys don't, don't, don't fuck this up. You you got it, Darrow. Thanks. I honestly brilliant plan. I really don't ask for much. Just don't fuck this up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got it. Okay. What else? Um, and that's that's it. I'm just gonna look back at at Venus and and just say Venus, carry, and um, then Venus is gonna pick up the ex decapitated individual. <laughs> And, and decapitate him again. Can he, can he fit through the door or anything? Venus? Yeah. yeah. He's a large... Uh, I, I mean, I don't know how large Venus is. He Let's had say, me in his mouth. Yeah. I mean, he's 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 gonna he's a big boy. I, I don't think he can fit through the door. Okay, cool. I just want him to, like, pick the guy up and ensure that if it wakes back up, he, like, shakes him just a little bit to knock the back out. Have <laughs> 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 <Anyway>, a drink. <laughs> Uh, for pe for new new people, we drink on nat twenties, nat ones. If they're the same number, if we have to look up a roll, and if you have, if you drop your dice, or if you roll a d twenty, ah, or if you or roll if you a just roll a d twenty, <laughs> just like in, yeah. um, <laughs> cool, yeah. So uh, so you see, so uh, Phoenix is about to grab Lupon, and Lupon's like he uh, he attempts to get up and run away. And, uh, and he slips and falls back on his face again. Um, nice. And he's unconscious again. Cool. <laughs> Making death he saving, is just death wants, saving throws again. Uh, Jesus, this fucking guy. He rolled a nat one to, to, to be a sleeky. So, okay, Phoenix like, brings him up to the door. I, I mean, however much you want to give a shit about this, but Darrow will eventually like to go up and like put lay on hands to keep this guy alive. Um, uh and like question him subsequently, but Phoenix wants to put him in his mouth, like in a nice carry, okay. and and kind of lay down by the by the door. Cool, like so a stick. That that, that happens. He's bringing it's a very it. very gentle little. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, dope. Uh, let's kick it over to Ruka. Uh, Ruka is gonna come to the front of the window and grab both hands, and see where. Uh, Strauss is. 
This cat's like, this is a very small space. Well, I want to, I want to try, I want to try and get it like he's <laughs> like he gets the camera. And then he's gonna he's gonna oh, aim right. at him and pull himself out to try and like Superman land or like superhero land with his fist on Strauss's head. But oh. before he jumps, he's gonna be like. You don't get to miss two punches. Oh. And he's going to launch out of it. I love it. Uh, yeah, uh, roll an attack, please. <laughs> or two attacks, technically. Keep running back. Um, I'm going to use my my less lucky. Because <laughs> that one Jesus, wasn't dude. as good as I wanted. Let's use Togu's dice. Yeah, this works. The same. Uh huh. Take a that's a 14 to hit. We've got so many similar rolls. It's insane. So that's a 14. That's a 14 hit on the first one. So I'm assuming he'd come down and miss. He basically then, slams into the thing. Ugh, and then he's going to turn around and try and uppercut on the Hell other yeah. side. And that's... <laughs> wow, bud. <laughs> Damn, I our, saw that from over yeah, here. Our guess. jumping window attacks have been, wow, real and that, bad. And, that is a, and that's a nine. To hit. Yeah, that won't hit either. Yeah, oh. everyone's just watching you guys jump out of windows and do attacks, and Mario's like, God, I am up to here with everything that's going on. Uh, is this like the Queen's Guard? This yeah. is her fucking job. We're just like, huh. It is. It is. Uh, and that's not a. It's more chaotic that's, than it's been. That's not a, a saving throw, time. correct? Yeah, you know, having no. a queen kidnapped and Two attacks not a saving throw. And a bunch of hooligans helping. <laughs> We're the hooligan helpers. <laughs> hey, well, hey, everyone, you're hooligan helpers. Uh, it's hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dope. Okay, so anything else, Luca? I I Any think bonuses? I think I'm just. I mean. You got bonus boozies? Boozies? Hit boozes? Bobbities? I don't think I have anything. Biblioteca? As a bonus action, but I will stand basically as close as I can to him. Okay. Okay, so. Um, Sweet. <laughs> wait, hold. But let me let me double check. Um, I can gain. No, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think I just stand right next to him. So if he moves an inch. All right, uh, so we have Tamari, we have Ruka, and Rusta all right there. Um, he is going to try to dash in between all of you guys and run past the fox spirit, basically. So you're going to get into the uh, uh, opportunities of attack. And so, also my fire thing. All three of you guys do opportunities of attack. Damn! Opportunities. Attack of, attacks of opportunity. Uh, yeah, opportunity. Sounds- and Cliff, get it, you fucking nerd. Uh, he needs to make a deck six. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, that will succeed. All right. Um, so opportunity to attack, it's a roll so plus one. He takes, uh, it's it's just a regular attack. Yeah, okay. 20. What'd you get? I got a 28. That will Wait, hit. a regular attack. Roll oh, I got damage. a roll damage from Rooster. Ten slashing damage. Um, Tamari also does. Let's see. Oh, she rolled a sixteen. No, I hit. Uh, Ten slashing. Uh, let's go over to Melvin. Oh wait, Melvin's not there. Uh, I got a twenty. So it's, uh, it's 20, just a regular attack. Twenty-five to hit. Okay, that'll hit. Okay, so that's. Are we still rated, as the kids would say? We are. We got raided super hard. Is that cool or good? Is that a good thing? Uh, yep. I hit him with eight. It's a great melee. So, uh, also, he has disadvantage. Uh, Hi, Dad. Hold on, there's 15, 28. So, if I'm attacking his back, <gasps> I mean, I, I I would say you're you're attacking as he attempts to run past you. Okay. Uh, it has. Oh, so okay. So uh, and, and also, I, I, I don't believe that you can uh, on atta- on bonus uh, or on attacks of opportunity. You don't get to add any special shit. I'm pretty sure. So like, so for example, if 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 a monk were to make a, an attack of opportunity, uh, that monk could not apply a stunning strike to that attack of opportunity. It specifically has to be attacks that are that happen within your turn in order to do 
any fancy, okay. fancy fancies. Unless you specifically have an ability that says, hey, attacks of opportunity. Also add. Do you want me to look up? Maybe. But it might be quicker if Rooster's got, uh, if Rooster has an ability like that. Um, I can do it as long as I do it didn't do it on my attack previously. Like on my like actual attack. That like round of turns. Okay. So Yeah. What is it? It would be five, six, eight, twelve sneak attack damage. Okay. And then um oh yeah, I have something too whenever you're done. Doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, honestly, about that. About what? Yeah, the tanky boy. Like, he's, opportunity he's, attacks. He's a chonky donkey. Um, yeah, he's he won't be though. Um, uh, cool. Yes, no. like uh, so now he has to make a deck saving throw to get through the fire. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he doesn't. Like, not in this situation because. So, here's how a wall of fire reads: When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a deck saving throw. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, a creature takes this uh, same damage when it enters the wall for the first time or ends a turn there. Oh, so anybody so, who jumped into it after your turn, I we have to take that damage, right? If yeah. you got within 10 feet of... How much is it? It's 5D. Okay. So I... So Roll it. Yeah. Did you go through? I mean, I had to. No. If I was inside the building and uh, jumped Sam, to attack him, no, Sam he, put he it around. Cool. So only if you're following him, and I'll break concentration on it. Just... No. Okay. Twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, he he rose to death. I, well, I wanted to burn the inside of his armor, and again, be non-lethal if at all possible. I don't know if you can control how lethal the damage is sure. from, this I, from, from a wall. I would not be able to do that. Um, so yeah, yeah. He so he's he's running through and he's just trying to get through every, everyone to get out of uh, this. Um, and the moment he hits that wall of fire, like he trips and falls, and the flames just engulf him entirely. And uh, Strauss is dead. Kill, Kill the flame! Kill the flame! Jolie. Jolie, f Jolie, fix him. I, I like, I like, shove Jolie out of the window and cast Featherfall on her <laughs> to see if she can go cast Revivify again. Um, I cast Frostbite. Are you all sure? Is I cast, I cast Frostbite just to stop the flame, just for fun. Just freezes, uh, fucking burnt corpse. Yeah. It's like burning. To stop, I need to just stop the fire. Frostbitten as shit. I didn't even think um, about that. So yeah, I, I assume you drop. Uh, the wall of fire in the yeah. moment he just falls to the ground. Um and uh yeah. It's let's just, let's just say Jolie hops out there, feather falls to the thing, he's like, I didn't consent to this. Um <laughs> You don't have to God damn it. <laughs> Why are you saying so many problematic things tonight? I'm gonna grab his arms as she revivifies him. Cool. Uh so she revivifies him and uh he becomes stable. Is he still just burnt to fuck? He's burnt to fuck. Good. And yeah, he, but he is stable. Um, so you guys now have uh, in your custody um, two uh, uh, members of the Marin Council: uh, Strauss, who was the uh, in charge of law enforcement, and uh, Lupin, who's Parks and Rec. And I really like <laughs> Strauss. Right? Yeah. Like, he and I are homies. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, the, he's he was the gun that I he's guy that the I law enforcement, yeah, yeah. and he's the Punisher logo guy. Okay, cool. So you guys now have them uh, in your custody, um, and you all look at each other, just stressed and exhausted. You can, you can see on Tamari's face just how much of a toll everything has taken on her. Not you know from having the warehouse burned uh, down from the uh, Strauss, uh, from the Unliving raid. Um, you know, having uh, sending you guys out to have the queen uh, revive with the shrimp. Um, now finding out that she has lost 
Um, at least one of the council members um, murdered by uh, you know, uh, Lupin um, and uh, these two dissenting um, members of the Marin Council and everyone um, just, just breathes so heavy, wiping the sweat from their brow. And that's where we're going to end this. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to go away with the queen. I have no idea. I'm still like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we see the slow motion just melting. As everything happens in the background. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning into the Bottle Cap Brigade. We do this every Tuesday night, starting at about 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. We love you all so much. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, um, our website at uh, www.thebottlecapbrigade.com. has all sorts of affiliate links and ways to uh, support us. Speaking of support us, uh, we got Patreon. Uh, so hop on there and maybe become a patron. We're going to have a uh, podcast thing of, uh, that happened at Tree Fort Music Festival uh, posted there soon. Um, and also to fun DM notes from me. Uh, also, uh, big thanks to Grace Watson, Keith Mitchum, uh, Lois Gates, uh, and uh, Will, we love you all so much. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. Uh, Patreon. And okay, we'll see you guys in a week. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye. Oh God. Farting. <laughs>